<coughs> me, 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 me. It's a mega bitch compilation. Ah. Holy crap, it's the tenth one. Oh my <laughs> Are you winning, Snum? I'm trying my best, and that's what matters. Well, are you having a fun time, Snom? Well, very much so, yes. You gotta understand, I don't post on here to gain followers. I do it to empty my mind ruthlessly each day so I don't go insane. Me posting about a character is just me shaking my brain upside down to make sure everything comes out. British cat girls be like, Hello? Hello, Gavnia? I... hate this. You gotta walk in rooms like God sent ya. As a punishment to the people already there. I don't know why Old Navy is literally always ahead of the game in terms of Uncanny Valley plus retail horror. Free them. Orc facts. The green color is not chlorophyll. They cannot usually photosynthesize, but sometimes they can. My cousin Lorbish can photosynthesize. Orc facts. Lorbish can photosynthesize. The funniest thing about Teen Titans cartoons is how they all call each other by their code names, and it's because despite living together, they don't know each other's real names. Titan's Tower was a Discord server. Hate how links change color after you click them. Like they're dirty now. My purple little fingerprints are all over the Wikipedia. Life's short, guys. So why not make a bonfire and scream at it? Maybe lay on some grass and scream at the stars. Turn yourself into a screaming mound of mouths. I may have a problem. Y you guys don't have to tell me. <sighs> Tumblr's gray. It's like a journal, but with PVP. Why? Is this true? Glowing hot metal is such a touchable shade of orange. I'm a welder, and this, let me tell you, this does not go away. If you're around a lot of hot metal, it's actually worse. OP isn't a bad term per se, but it is a warning sign that your post has left your circle of mutuals. Which is never good. Like a canary in a coal mine. Shunned from the weed circle at a party after asking for a quick honk on that bobo. Absolutely no stoner alive would shun you for that. It'd be like, hell yeah, brother, this bobo's been on fire waiting for the honk of a century. And you look like the man for the job. Peace and love on planet Earth. All right, this one's for my neurodivergent friends who need the affirmation. The right people will not merely tolerate your differences. The right people will appreciate you for your differences. This appreciation can take many forms. I know the ND life can get lonely and uncertain, but there will be people who enjoy your flavor weird. And if they don't, they're not the right people. All right? All right. Three dollars in bank account. <clears throat> Minimalism. More like millennialism. Hey, who said you can make this relatable? Eat dirt. When I say OMG, I don't mean oh my god. I mean OMG. There's a difference. Listen, I don't care what you think. Those women singing to me on the rocks are beautiful, and I'm going to see them. I mean, look at this one. Really, all girls want is to live in a sanctum of some kind with their wife. You know who else wants to live in a sanctum of some kind with their wife? Not now, muscle man. There's been a murder, and we have to solve it. You know who else has to solve it? A kid is dead, muscle man. What did you do to my post? Um, uh, uh, a YouTuber making five plus hour long video essays on media, but it's about completely fake shows and they're making stuff up on the spot. Thank you. I'm going to steal this. The moon is made of cheese. Did you know cheese is made of moon? Millennial culture is having two wildly different conversations with the same person on two different apps at the exact same time time. Conversation one, Jake Barker. Conversation two. That's why I think I'm so afraid of making myself vulnerable, because my father taught me I could never, ever truly trust anyone. I do not want my fantasy media to be realistic. I want my fantasy media to be convincing. Thank you. Thank you. I am so sick of being a person. I'm going to go into the woods and lay down in the dirt and become a geological feature. And none of you are powerful enough to stop me. They need to make an app for the mentally ill. Um, honey, you're on it right now. Okay, listen, but your blog isn't fully developed until you're like 25. I mean, when you think about it, 
the blog is an extension of your brain. So the logic adds up. It's okay to keep secrets. Everyone has some skeletons in the closet. Race in the attic, ghosts in the bedrooms, mummies in the kitchens, enchanted armor on the stairs, slime in the basements, maybe a giant spider in the backyard, beholder or two of the garage, vampires are also in the closet. My house is very unsafe. The secret to being a cool adult is to wear things that your younger self wanted to wear but couldn't and to do things that your younger self wanted to do but couldn't. I have found out that I actually like myself and I like my style and I am annoying and I will make it everyone else's problem. If God wanted you to live a peaceful life, he wouldn't have put me here. Damn, that's a raw line. I had a dream that the new lingo was Big Yeet and it meant something like mood and I hate it. LP, this post is a big yeet. How the fuck does anyone learn English nowadays when we speak like this? No one in Spider-Man has a New York accent, and I take it upon myself to constantly call him Spider-Man. Peter Parker. It's like y'all slept on Kingpin. It's very easy to say that magic doesn't exist, but ultimately computers work by channeling lightning through a series of crystals. So who's really to say? Laying and kicking my feet like a movie teen with a crush, but I'm just looking at a line of ants do their thing. <sighs> Beautiful. Attracting a partner who doesn't need to be saved forces you to see your inherent values outside of what you can do for them. That can be difficult for someone who is used to saving others and has centered their self-worth and their identity around sacrifice. This is... this is kind of a heavy truth. Well, you didn't need to say it like that. Damn! I believe in God. Because cats exist, and no godless world would leave us alone with no cats. I might be onto something here. Internet friends are kind of like illegally downloaded friends. You don't get the physical copy, but you still get all the great content. I illegally downloaded you all. I just hit 27 of these little bastards around the house, and I'm waiting for my parents' reaction. Why the shit is there a chicken in my coffee cup? The first chicken has been found. <laughs> Are y'all ready for the hottest take on this website yet? 83 face is just OO on its side. Reblock me, you cowards! Andy, my man, welcome back. Sorry we overloaded your old computer with too much Tumblr stuff. Let's hope this doesn't happen to the second one, am I right? Matching Tumblr icons are just friendship bracelets for geeks. You remember those? Friendship bracelet's still a thing? I need to know. The grind never starts. I'm sleeping. Wow. I want that energy. I just saw a only one bed fic with the major character death warning? Well, I guess that's one way to solve that problem. This bed ain't big enough for the both of us. Aesthetic. Dragon Ball characters photoshopped into slice of life animes. That's... That's beautiful. Andy, do it for Cosmic Wonders. It has not been ten hours since I revamped, and already I am fueled with unstoppable power. I'm going to fight every one of you, and I am going to lose. But then I'll win when you least expect it. The Lord giveth, and the Lord... Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Two hops this time. <laughs> Life's too short not to eat devastating, irrational amounts of cheese. Well, we found the white person on Tumblr. I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. I call it... ADHD. <laughs> I went on a hero's journey within the span of one hour this afternoon. If you even care. Well, he's a fine young man. If you overlook the atrocities... You know... Don't worry about it. I once saw someone pay for something with a ring connected to Apple Pay, and I was just tipsy enough, I thought they punched the card machine and it worked. What if it didn't? We'll never know. Ah, uh, please don't fret so much, Master Dialga. Even your siblings, Palkia and Gerbasia, are no threat to your continued survival. Giratina! Edit post! Edit post! Edit post! At the grocery store. Me, can you give me x squared plus 4y of tomatoes and 2 times x squared plus axy to the power of 3 potatoes, please? I, I, I don't understand. Well, I don't give a fuck. I didn't study in vain. Those are polynomials. You asked for a never-ending curve of tomatoes. Got a big pot of sauce to make. Being on a costumed superhero team is like, you are my dearest friends. 
We've fought side by side a hundred times. We know each other's most intimate strengths and weaknesses. I know you more completely than anyone else in my life. We can communicate with a word, a glance, a gesture. I don't know your name. I've never seen the upper half of your face. And I love you. This is what working retail during the pandemic is like. Different half of the face. Yeah, that's... That's the only difference. Today I learned that the saxophone was invented only in 1846 by Adolf Sax. As a child, he survived a three-story fall, a gunpowder explosion, drinking a bowl of sulfuric water, a near poisoning due to furniture varnish, and falling into a speeding river. His neighbors called him Little Sax the Ghost. God really didn't want the saxophone invented. And yet here we have it. In fact, Andy, put up your favorite saxophone noise. My new, totally uneducated guess for why human tell stories is to keep them from getting bored and cranky while following a gazelle for four hours. No deeper mystery or meaning. Some folk need a distraction while they tried to catch dinner, so they just made some shit up. The end. The equivalent of listening and singing the songs on your way home so you don't fall asleep at the wheel. Ah, for millennia upon millennia, humans have had to yell creatively to keep on task. Yeah, that sounds about right. Teacher, why are you laughing? No reason. My brain. Local police. Bust a nut. <laughs> well, the good news, we finally have solid confirmation on how gif is pronounced. The bad news, the old English word gif is pronounced yif. No. Yes. Yes! This is the language equivalent of King Solomon suggesting cutting the baby in half. Jess discovered the joy of pronouncing all words ending with cles like Heracles. Obstacles, tentacles, mortocycles, testicles, micropodicles, popsicles, debacles. Ah, I love words and sounds. Yet don't mind me, I'm just looking for inspiration for my swords and sandals campaign. Testicles. Son of Bophides, the demigod who was invincible in all but his genitals. Thus was the tragedy of Bophides' nuts. <laughs> ah! Andy put up the biggest god of your god! Ha! <laughs> got <he. laughs> So, have you ever been through like a string of fandoms and you decided your favorite characters for each one? There will come a day when you list all of your faves from each fandom side by side and look at them carefully and realize you have a type. Ah oh, yes, the dead ones. The hot person urged to have little braids like Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Please, he's given me gender envy since I was nine years old. Feminine urge this, masculine urge that. Let's stop being weird about gender online for a second and focus on what's important. The European urge to eat a whole loaf of bread. I mean, I guess I could try dressing as an actual member of society instead of a disheveled, hungover swamp witch, but the question is, why? Oh, that's a good boy. Eat your cereals. No one's ever gonna really truly get you, but that's okay, because you get you, and you get to have this secret magical world that is entirely your own in the expanse of your imagination. Yeah. Ugh, touching grass is not enough. I need to touch Yellowstone's superheated prismatic acid pool. Ugh, that's the stuff, man! You want that looks cozy? Andy, throw me in there! This was a mistake. Gaze long enough into the abyss. And eventually, the abyss gazes back. The abyss heard the can opener. The unstoppable force, ADHD, versus the immovable object, also ADHD. You know, Blank-182 and Sum-41 should combine to become Slunk-223. Yeah. I just heard my sister called Wilford Wharfstash. Wilf the Dilf. And I think God needs to send another flood. Markiplier, I'm so sorry. Wait, hold on, let me put away fucking Henry the Ace milk. Where... Where did you get the milk? Uh, please do cite the deep magic to me, actually. I may have been there when it was written, but I am very forgetful. I forgo. Okay, listen. 
To everyone running here for refuge from Twitter since they're selling it to Elon Musk, welcome. In order to survive here, you must sacrifice one of your monsters or discard your entire hand. Holy shit, this blew up. Uh, be sure to follow my- No, 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 no. We don't do that here. The only reason you know this post was made today is because Musk announced he was buying it today. You can reblog posts made 10 years ago and they will still feel evergreen. And no matter how old the post is, I will be able to draw two cards from my deck. You know who else will be able to draw two cards from their deck? That... Th that's against the rules, isn't it? Not when I activate my trap card! My ma- Okay, when I was little, a strange man stepped out of a time machine and punched me for no reason. So I've worked all my life to invent a time machine of my own, and I'm going back to when he was little, and we'll see how he likes the taste of his own medicine! <laughs> when someone has taken in their bio, it's because they've been consumed by the fuck. Alright, stop scrolling. Bet you've never seen a baby toucan? Aww. It looks unfinished. <laughs> when you realize the YouTuber slash character you've been hyperfixated on is slowly becoming a permanent part of your personality whether you like it or not. Uh, I love that my Tumblr dashboard is in chronological order. I get to read fanfics and reactions, but in reverse order. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Hello, people running from Twitter. Friendly reminder to, one, reblog art and fix. The algorithm on this site relies on reblogs to boost content, so go ham with it. Two, not leave your blog blank, because this website sucks. Blank blogs are usually assumed to be bots of some kind, so people will block on reflex. Three, be nice. Y'all are coming into our house, and most of us are fine with having you here, but if you start causing a ruckus, we will not quickly let that happen. Mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about it. Look at this! He feet too big for he goddamn he! A Canadian visits America and gets held at gunpoint by a stranger. The stranger says, Give me all your money and I'll let you live. The Canadian replies gleefully, Oh, you must be what they call a doctor. <laughs> Got him. Science has confirmed that dogs love us back because they get the same rush of oxytocin when they look at us that we get when we look at them. Are you telling me that dogs are looking up to us and think, Oh my god, what an adorable fucking cutie pie. A while ago, I read an article about how dogs love us back, but recognize that we're different from them. While cats see us as bigger and clumsier than them, but do not consider us different. Dog. I am fuzzy creature, and you are different adorable creature, and I love you! Cats. I am lanky and graceful, and you are a giant mess. This is why cats occasionally try to bathe and feed us. Okay, but it's true. Cats see us as giant, dumb, hairless babies. That's why they bring us half-dead prey, to teach us how to hunt and eat properly. That's also why they try to attack when we rub their bellies. That's how parent cats teach kittens to defend themselves. That's also why they meow. Cats communicate with other adults or a frequency we can't hear, but meow kittens because their ears aren't fully developed. They even specialize the set of meows they use only for humans, because we are especially deaf babies. We are all of us dumb kittens. Today I learned that I am a dumb kitten. I can totally live with that. Baby girl, I'm popping joints that paleontologists don't even know about shit. No, fuck, I meant chiropractors. Yo, your mama's so old, her chiropractor is a paleontologist. Got him! So I just found out that stoats hunt twice the size of them like rabbits by aggressively and eccentrically dancing around it with their little slinky rigatoni bodies so it can confuse the absolute fuck out of its prey until it can get close enough to jump on its back like some Shadow of the Colossus shit and take it down. Oh my god, it's called the Weasel War Dance and they just go off the shits! Ape shit little animals! <laughs> I kind of want to see videos now of these guys doing their war dance while Shadow of the Colossus music is playing. Andy, that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. My gender is my sleep. So, almost not existent? Delayed for many hours? Inconsistent? Here's the thing. TikTok has a ton of issues with censorship. Instagram's algorithm is horrible. Facebook is trash. Tumblr is... 
There, DeviantArt is way too niche. Discords can be very close communities. Every startup platform dies in weeks. Where else do artists go? I'm sorry, Tumblr's cardinal sin is being Tumblr? It's a feature, not a bug. Huh? Huh? Achoo! <gasps> Zom, are you sick? Uh, a bit. I was outside too long. Yo! Who made my child sick? No. 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 Don't blame me, please! Hmm, sounds like something a smoothie would say. Hey, Pucky. What's 22 minus 8? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, I need to go do math. Uh, I'm not done yet, but I can guarantee it's less than 20. Uh, okay. I'm done with the math. It's 13. Ooh, so close. I'm pretty certain I'll trigger a cutscene if I get too close to this cat. Yeah, I would save the game before approaching this cat. Make sure your potions are ready. Pretty sure it's an Elden Ring boss. Foul tarnished. Dunkleostis means so much to me. It means Dunkle's bones. Alright, shout out to Dunkle for turning his bones into the best creatures. Look at that thing. Masterpiece. Can someone explain to me why it's perfectly acceptable to read all day, to garden all day, to be at the pool all day, to work all day, to shop all day, to be out with friends all day, but the minute you decide to sit at a computer or console and game all day, suddenly you're wasting your life? The computer glows because it's full of Satan. Ah, yes, this. Totally logical. Behold, Robot Lobster. But why? Robster. A lycanthrope transforms in front of his friend for the first time. Oh my god, says his friend. You've just turned into a wolf. Yes, he replies. I am aware. <laughs> so, it's the month of May, huh? Well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. <laughs> ha! Gay! Hey, want to see the stupidest thing that made me laugh today? Pelvis. Oh, so that's why he can shake his hips so good. Today I learned that due to altitude, your taste bud sensitivity to salts and sweets are reduced by 30%. And because 80% of what people think is taste is actually smell, the 12% humidity in a pressurized airplane cabin causes odor receptors not to function. Food tastes twice as bland than on the ground. Finally, the deal with airline food. Jerry Seinfeld's career is doomed. It's so cute when a really fat bumblebee comes and bops against the window and immediately bumbles away like, Oh, dearie me, I'm terribly sorry. That wasn't where I should have been going. <laughs> what a silly little sausage I am. <laughs> when you will fake conversations in your head, do you sometimes say random sentences out loud too? I was tying my shoes and said very sternly and loudly, I do know how ants work, fucker! This may be the most relatable thing I've ever read. Every fan fiction is just... I'm being so creative and original. I'm plagiarizing everyone by accident. I'm a genius. I'm cringe. I'm too angsty. I'm too cheesy. This is not in character. It doesn't matter that it's not in character because these are my characters now. I love my hobby. And this is the worst possible use of my time. I'm seeking validation. I'm protecting my own personal problems onto the story and I'm barely hiding it. I know so many words and I'm using all of them wrong. I'm on Tumblr posting about it instead of writing it! Wow. Wow. Felt that one in my bones. Um, there are breasts on my roof scampering about. Ugh, wretched. They- They're what? Beast! 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 I meant beast! No, 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 it's too late, it's too late. Andy has already photoshopped big manly anime titties on your roof as we speak. Today I learned grasshoppers are older than grass, having evolved roughly 250 million years ago. Grasshoppers sometime about 55 to 66 million years ago. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Hands down, this is my favorite picture ever. The ancient cry has been answered. Can has. Can has! 
Someone's not gonna understand this, and I will finally have to face my own mortality. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to a wild state in a matter of months, growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. Now excuse me while I disappear into the wild and revert into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are... are we not? Yeah, Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. What is Darth Vader's favorite month? Imperial March. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who the fuck submitted one of my posts to PM Seymour? Just let me and my tiny handful of followers be. My posts are me screaming my thoughts in a brick wall, and it's very therapeutic. It's okay. It's okay. That's what we're all using Tumblr for. <gasps> all right, bye. Hey, why rats gotta have like little grabby hands? Give him a Cheerio and he just eats it like a bagel. Hey, you complaining? You complaining about the little man and his bagel? Behold. Train. Train? Train. Train. Character development. Ray Toro no longer beating My Chemical Romance fans to death with his guitar. Instead, sharing his love of music. That's beautiful, man. Can't find a job because Jeff the Killer's already taken. But, by, by who? Jeff, I firmly grasp the hair on the side of my head, then tilt it, my neck separating to reveal only flesh. And then you look on to see that I have merely politely tipped my head to you, since I did not wear a hat to this lovely undead gathering. Mmm, my lady. This little freak keeps sneaking into my garden and rubbing himself all over my flowers. Um, hello? R real? Male bees don't go after flowers, they stay home. That freak is a herself. Googling bee genders as I dictate this post. Okay, the more you Google bee reproductive biology, the more absurd it is that we're applying the words male and female to them. Their actual genders are worker, drone, and queen. The queen is capable of both asexual and sexual reproduction. Bees born of unfertilized eggs become drones that are capable of fertilizing eggs. Bees born of fertilized eggs become workers, but can also potentially become a queen depending on how they are fed during the larval stage. Use whatever the fuck pronoun you want to describe bees, because they are all equally incorrect projections of human worldview onto an insect species. Bees don't experience mammalian sexual dimorphism in a biological sense, nor do they experience human gender dimorphism in a socio-political sense. Something to make me love bees even more. One time I dreamt I was kidnapped by plague doctors and they wanted to turn me into a thing I hate most. Tomato soup! I managed to escape Mary Poppins style and flew away on a tiny umbrella. The one you put in drinks while they sobbed about their soup! <sighs> Remember to read the blog name before the post. I was convinced that the start of this was an S-tier shit post until I realized... That's why I say it beforehand. Fun fact! Sometimes my owner will hold me above their head and run around so I can fly. Whee! Alright, Pokemon teams! Team of little guys who are going to bite you. Team of little guys that will torment you or steal your soul if you let them. Team of... Team of fucking creatures. Just guys. Look at them. Look at all of them. Pet them. My friend's cat loves attacking Christmas trees, but hates plastic bags. The narrative tension in this picture is outrageous. I will topple your empires and your kings. I will drain the wealth from your coffers and elevate your serfs and servants until they stand on the same ground as the mightiest of emperors. Women shall freely speak their minds, unbound by the fetters you have set, and the lines between man and women shall be hopelessly blurred and shattered into a thousand facets. Your children shall fall into one another regardless of sex or class or wealth, and none shall raise a hand or a word against them. The age of crowns and boundaries and divine rights shall end, and it shall fall to each human to choose their- Wait, wait, what? Why are they cheering? Why are they cheering? Teaching STEM without teaching the humanities is how you get Spider-Man villains. Teaching theater without teaching the humanities is how you get Batman villains. Teaching STEM and theater is how you get Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Me begging tears in my eyes. Please. Please just tell me what the book is about. The plot. Please. 
a book annotation on the cover, unbased. A subversive masterpiece. A deep and touching story. The New York Times bestseller. Go fuck yourself! Hear ye, hear ye. A new Blorbo is here. Wait, what? Wait, where, where is it? Wait, where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is your friendly reminder that all birds are dinosaurs. Every single one. No qualifiers, no exceptions. Have a good day. Come, my child, before the humans return. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hey, how much scarier would a frog be if it ran instead of hop? Like you just hear coming towards you and you look down and it's just a frog going at full speed. Oh my God. I was watching Futurama with my friend last night and it glitched out so bad I got the best screenshot ever. When you remember an important task while going to bed at 3 a.m. Yeah. <clears throat> Men. Good post. This is a really good post. I'm a big fan of this post. Hey, someone who's never seen Phineas and Ferb explain what's going on in this picture. Well, Aaron Hansen appears in Miranda Cosgrove's acid trip. Oh. I wonder what happens if I put powdered milk into carbonated water. Well, my cereal is loud, and it's demanding to know why I would sin against both nature and God so thoughtlessly. How's it taste? Bad. Well, the fizz comes from carbonic acid in the water, splitting up into CO2 and H2O over time. And carbonic acid is, as an acid, sour. By adding milk to sour water, you've created a very convincing emulation of spoiled milk. So I believe, in a heartbeat, that the taste is... Not great, trademark. I have mastered the potion instant spoiled milk, therefore earning the rank of shittiest alchemist currently alive. I'll thank God, because I was just about to say, there is a much shittier alchemist than you. When you touch an unaware cat and then make that small surprise sound, reblog if you agree. That little sound. Ah, that's the stuff. Don't listen to him, babe. Just keep opening more tabs into your browser. Load up that RAM. Do it. Sell. Sell Tomb Raider to get crypto. Tomb. Tombs are associated with crypts. Raiding tombs is a form of destruction. Cryptocurrency and NFTs are crashing. Thank you, Laura Croft. You did it. Okay, but PM, hear me out. Elf. Soft. But also Pillow is soft. Yet still Elf. Serotonin gal. Conclusion? Elf serotonin pillow? So, logic dictates... Elf pillow? Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait. Maybe this is good. Maybe this is good. Andy, Andy, don't try to stop me. Andy, don't try to stop me. Andy, please stop me. Andy, please stop me. This is a bad idea. I... Andy, please stop me! Please fire me! I work at a video store, and yesterday a man asked if I could see if we had a movie in. Only when I asked him what movie he wanted, he replied, the one with the bugs. I get dumb, vague descriptions like this quite a bit, so I powered on and asked him which one, and he was like, you know, the one with the mitochondrias. It took 10 minutes, and a lot of yelling from the customer, to find out that he meant midichlorians. Star Wars. It was freaking Star Wars! The Metachlorian is the powerhouse of the Force! So today at church we had a talent show and one of the kids did the talent of telling jokes and he set up a joke, What do you call a duck with fangs? And one of the little kids shouted, A FUCK! And I almost died. Well, what do you call a duck with fangs? <sighs> Count Quackula. Any generic cola is just carbonated coffee or chocolate. I'ma stop you right there, snoring listener. As someone who has actually had chocolate soda? No, it fucking ain't. Carbonated chocolate soda is like Oreos mixed with NyQuil. If you play the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe on the Switch, the painting of a panda with a gun pointed at it is changed to have Mario's hand. No. No! Chris Pratt, put down the gun! Why do coffee makers growl at you? What's the point of all that? Uh, they're called baristas, and they're working very hard. They deserve to let off steam however they like. Thank you. Non-freaks do not interact! This is a freaks-only zone! We do not have a dinosaur! Hmm. 
Sounds like something somebody with a dinosaur would say. Hey, what is it called when you kill a friend? Homicide. Murder. Nah. Homicide. My friend has a weird love for Cheetos. So he went to the Cheetos production factory and purchased 28 industrial sized clear bags of Cheetos. They charged him $65 per clear bag. He's the one they warn us about in math problems. Cat equals cactuses. Cactuses are the cats of the plant world. Because of Toby Fox having an encounter where if Frisk interacts with a cactus, he calls it truly the most sundere of plants. I wonder if that applies to cats. If cactuses are cats, then are cats the most sundere of animals? I mean, have you watched any anime with a sundere girl? 90% of them usually end up with cat ears as some sort of gag. Andy, back me up here. I'm officially releasing my soul into the public domain. Do what you will with it as long as you don't cause my body any physical harm. Mixing in a tiny piece of your soul every time I make soup. Pucky, are you my parent? I'm all of your parents. Literally all of them. Why'd you have to go and make things so swamplicated? Tumblr culture is not knowing if this is from 2008 or earlier this week. Hey, being smart has never stopped me from being a complete fucking idiot. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, but gay chicken sounds like you want to touch your homie's ass without your internalized homophobia getting to you. Just saying. Bless you with my transgender beam! Well, the beam doesn't make you transgender. It is. Transgender. The actual effect is 8d6 necrotic damage. So, have fun. <gasps> Bad and naughty variola majors get locked in the cold box to pay for their horrid smallpox crimes. This is officially the funniest ask we've gotten. You're officially considered funny by the CDC! Cock submachine gun like it's a shotgun. Not to ruin a joke, but that might be a Troy 223, which is a pump action assault looking rifle. Wait. 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 The Shadow the Hedgehog gun is real?! What? Ships, male and female couples, but in an unmistakably bisexual way. Yes. I just think it's important to understand that you're always going to be mentally ill isn't the same thing as you are always going to be unhappy. Remember that. Teal and orange truly is the greatest color combo in the world. Like, name one better combo. Look at this. This is spiritually healing to me. A platypus palette? Hey, the platypus palette! Mysterious figure. May I have your attention? Me? Yes, of course. What is it? Secretly a fairy about to give me ADHD. No. Hate it. Joking about how no one joins Tumblr anymore isn't enough. We need to get rid of the sign up button. Get rid of the sign up button, but also the delete account button. We are in containment. I cannot work a job. I don't have time. Every day I need to sleep 24,593,280 hours. Okay, I need to actually, I'm, I'm calculating this right now because I'm curious. 24,593,280 divided by 24. Okay, that's 1,024,720 days. Divide that by, uh... You know, divide that by 365. It's, uh, 2,807.45 years. That's, uh, it's a lot of sleeping you gotta do today. Imagine a forest clearing in a cottage. Your drying herbs and your favorite record is playing on your record player. You've got muffins in the oven, and a gentle breeze is coming through the windows. You're happy, and everything is right. That's... It's fucking beautiful, man. Tumblr should have login bonuses and daily quests. Attention, new daily missions available. Make one soup post, threaten life of one politician, reblog corn gohan and or post theme to the current day of the week, and delete two ill-advised posts made last night in a sudden fit of depressive oversharing. Man shooting a Nerf gun in his light switch from the bed, missing every shot, and going to sleep with the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> me. No more hot girl summers. It's forest hag summer now. No bikini bodies, only aprons with pockets full of mushrooms and shiny rocks. No beach babes, only a tiny frog. That's way better, man. Hey, wasp girl, captured under a glass, slide paper under there. <gasps> the wasp girl's written her number on the paper. What do you do? Why would I want to date a Protestant? 
Hey, if Bowser kidnapped my wife, I would not be saying wahoo, no matter how fun the jump was. What's this wife business? Nobody calls him Prince Consort Mario. Yeah, if Bowser kidnapped my plumbing client, I would be saying wahoo, as long as those hours were billable. My dad and I made this fish tank for my mom for Christmas a few years ago with dollhouse figures. I thought it was pretty rad. I can't believe your mom's a fish. My plan. Step one, buy 15 identical cats. Step two, invite someone over. Step three, when they ask how many cats you have, say, just one, but he's really fast. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to be grateful that it isn't worse. Read that, read it again, and again, and again. Somebody, somewhere, always has it worse than you. There is one person on this planet that has it the worst of all, and that person is not the only person allowed to be unhappy with their lot. If things are bad for you, they are bad for you. Period. So stop fucking doing that statement, oh, you think you have it bad, because it does nothing! I do a magical girl transformation, but when the dust clears, I'm exactly the same, except now I have one small fat frog in my pocket. The frog is piloting you like a mech suit. Oh, fuck, they're on to me. I'm really bothered by the fact that basically the only reason why gay marriage is illegal is because some people think it's disgusting. You know, I think peas are disgusting. But we're not making that illegal, are we? Hey, what's wrong with you? Peas are delicious. Gay people are delicious, too. No dessert for you until you eat all your gays. What the fuck just happened here? Shh, be quiet and eat your gays. Hey, which is creepier, this animatronic Elvis I ripped the face off of while disassembling it, or the selfie with me wearing its face? The fact that you thought of doing this at all. Toxins and sludge, toxins and sludge. I'm a little lad who loves toxins and sludge. Toxins and sludge, toxins and sludge. I'm a little lad who loves toxins and sludge. I hate that I know that by heart. And because it is the 100th video Andy has edited for me, I would like to cause mischief and chaos if Andy will allow me to do it. I'm going to allow this. I present to you a callback so bad that majority of the comments filled up the video with this to the point I had to make a second video. But I'm going to do it in opera. Persephone! It's way better than Persephone. Y'all, what do you guys do for a living? But describe it in the worst way possible. Yeah, I get splinter and paper cuts and fight the machines. <sighs> I'm having a hard time figuring out what that is. Feed a person vampire blood, you get a ghoul. Feed an animal vampire blood, you get a hellhound. Water a plant in vampire blood and you get a mandrake. Fill up your car with vampire blood. Probably good things, let's try it. Coming this Halloween from Sci-Fi, Vampire. The massive power of trains, yet confinement to a single path, makes them comparable to angels. The idea of a corrupted or fallen train is causing so much chaos in my head. The theological and engineering implications! Goalkeeper's ball gets photoshopped into cats. This is so natural. Like, I didn't question it. It's absolutely how I hug my cat, too. I think every fandom deserves a character as Vine's YouTube video. It's their legal right. Andy, what do you think? Not scientifically possible! Writing tipped. If you push buttons on a keyboard, letters will appear on the screen. And with that power, you can do anything! Yeah, I think it was cruel to give Lighty McQueen a foot fetish as he lives in a world where all feet are wheels. He has nothing. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I think. The Among Us rock watches over us all, as it has for thousands of years. Okay, but to me it looks like a kitty cat. Darth Vader wears a mask to hide severe and gruesome disfigurement from falling into a pit of lava, aid with speech and breathing. Kylo Ren wears a mask literally just because he's dramatic. Honestly, being a vampire who is also a goth kid is the best possible cover. Nobody's gonna think the kid in all black with an umbrella and sunglasses and a shirt that says bite me is actually a vampire. And they'll just think you're a goth kid pretending to be a vampire.
I drink blood to sustain myself and to heal mortal wounds. <laughs> yeah, sure you do, Kyle. I right, listen, I may have one brain cell, but it's a fucking huge brain cell. Are you using it, though? Yeah. But, but when it does function, it just says, hey, draw elf. Electric stoves aren't real, by the way. They're placebo stoves. Your food cooks because of the placebo effect. Yeah, no, it's just a bunch of LEDs that turn red. It only boils water because you expect the water to boil. Why is this true? Hey! Color code your infants so strangers know what their genitals look like. Well, when you put it that way, it does sound fucking weird. I hate it. Breaking! The beloved dodgeball that had been stuck in the gym rafters since 2004 had been knocked down. The item used to free the ball, a basketball thrown by bored varsity players, immediately became stuck in its place. Rip. You ever think about how Mountain Dew is a really poetic name and how... If someone didn't know what it was, they'd probably guess oh, some herbal tea made from the finest leaves of the Alps. But instead, it's just radioactive gamer soda. Right? He needs those parts for his spaceship. <gasps> He's going to outer space. PM, is there any drawing animation tools that someone with not much money can get? Procreate. <sighs> The software, guys. Baby girl, I have mental illnesses the DSMP haven't even heard of. DSM-5! I'm at DSM-5! No, it's too late! Dream's gonna find you! Oh god, he's here! Run. Okay, who designed this sign? Why isn't it in the center? This is bugging me! I feel like it was put in for four kids only. I'm pretty sure it was just a rock wall. Calling characters with an unknown last name, the name of the thing they're from, like Sans Undertale, is very funny, but I think it's funnier when people do it with a character whose last name is very much known. For example, <clears throat> Jesus Bible. Please! Naughty potatoes get placed in the nuclear America round for war crimes. Let, let him out, please. The best analogy for bisexuals I've ever heard. Werewolf. I am a werewolf. Person. Okay, so when you're in human form, you're human, and then you're in wolf form, you're a wolf, though. No, no, no. I'm a werewolf. Human form, werewolf. Wolf form, werewolf. Always a werewolf. No matter the circumstance or appearance, I am always a werewolf. Fact. Bisexuals are also werewolves. One time I dreamt there was a limited amount of gender available in the world. You can only obtain some by either having given it or killing the person who already had it. Assassins were notorious for their large amount of genders and would double as traitors. Oh, that explains why conservatives say there are only two. They're hiding the rest! Do you know what pisses me off? A lot of things! Where do I start? Be so completely yourself that everyone else feels safe to be themselves too. I can't think of much that I aspire to be more than this. Mowing through an entire box of Pocky feeling like a pencil sharpener being fed whole pencils by a third grader. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Slut or not, you're all slut shaming a guy that's dead. Show some respect. This was a post about Julius Caesar. DM says, so you realize it's a giant rattlesnake, bigger than our fighter. Me, a Medusa with snakes for hair. I roll to befriend it. Oh, oh no, uh, okay, okay, what's your charisma? Plus five, let's go! Rolls a nat 20. Well, everyone add 12 points to your XP, crisis averted, you now have a giant snake for a friend. That is the best outcome. Hey, why is everything blue? Could you perhaps elaborate? No, everything's blue. I see no need for elaboration. Don't up. Writing prompt. Fae gained power over someone by having their name. The most powerful of Fae wouldn't be kings or queens, but coffee shop baristas. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold. Did I... Did I miss a glorious opportunity with Baris? <laughs> Game Freak. Game Freak. Look at me. Are you telling me that every Pokemon canonically has a scientific name and you refused to tell us what it is for every single Pokemon except goddamn Oddish? And how the hell does it walk around nearly a thousand feet at night with two roots? As many steps. Your vibes, my lord. Hmm, check them for me, Court Jester. Oh no, 
My rib cage split open, revealing a grotesque vertical maw, slavering and bleeding, with uneven rows of jagged and splintered ribs for teeth. And promise tomorrow! Rules of fashion. One, do you think it's pretty? Two, wear it. Okay, but I don't know how I'm gonna wear you. Oh, you smooth fucker. You obviously haven't read Silence of the Lambs. No, I don't have a dream job. I want to spend my days reading and writing and lazing in the afternoon sun. I want to bake bread and brownies and apple crumble. I want to grow my own vegetables and plant a rainbow of flowers. I want to be with nature. I want to be at peace. That sounds nice. So, this happened to me today. Fucked up, some bird tried to steal your car like that. Look at it. You fucking dead. Have you considered the sun? No. It, it's, it's shiny, though. No, thanks. Good move. I hear it's deadly. Laser-like, even. <sighs> Only those that breathe unholy water cannot survive the sun's great light. Praise the sun. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Disney World needs to make a roller coaster based off the ride Yzma and Kronk take to the lair. When the ride starts, Yzma voice yells, Pull the lever, Kronk! And then the ride starts to move backwards, so she yells, Wrong lever! And it shoots you forward. Why is this not happening? Filled with a deep animosity towards humankind and indifference towards my friends and loved ones and values because I'm awake past 2 a.m., the TV is on too loud in the other room, and I have lost the capacity to love. Good morning. I'm no longer evil. Little do my friends know that when I send them funny posts, I'm also telling them I love them and giving them a kiss on the cheek. But don't tell them, no. Especially, don't tell Andy. I knew it! I think sometimes cats don't actually know what specifically they want. They're just generally dissatisfied, so they stand there yelling, I yearn! On the off chance that you'll be able to do something about it. A post flopping is the worst thing that can ever happen to a tumblerina. A post taking off is also the worst thing that can ever happen to a tumblerina. It looks like posting is the worst thing that could happen to a tumblerina. So just don't post. What do you mean the divine right of kings is fake? Louis the Fourteenth is in my inbox, guys. If this kid comes back in like 20 years dressed as a massive buff Gyarados, I'll eat my shirt. Can someone please find if there's an aftermath photo so Pokemon Perfect can eat their shirt? Hey, Pucky, where's the unfollow button on mobile? Not telling. <clears throat> Mail order digital games. Hell no. Stop. Why? Just buy the game normally. Person says, she, me, it's he. Well, on your birth certificate. Yeah, it also says eight pounds and six ounces. A lot has changed over the years. The Chinese Lunar Exploration Team identified a mysterious hut on the horizon of the moon. That is Siata's house, so leave her alone. Your mom finding your friend at a store is like unskippable cutscenes. Okay, but the fucking worst is that as I get older, I completely understand the interest to catch up an unreasonable long time because turns out adults just don't get enough time to hang out with friends. So, catch up next to the Aldi cheese aisle it is. A few months back, I took my brother to the Sydney Aquarium. This was the only picture I took. Mm, moisturize me. I would rather not! <laughs> okay. All right. Sasuke, but from New York. Shh. I'm walking here, loser. Hey, bada bing! Bada boom! Forget about it. Hey, I'm walking here! Ah. Natural habitat. You've heard of alphabet soup, now get ready for Time's New Ramen. I sent this to my mom and she got so mad at me, she sent me an audio recording of her yelling. Good job. Most private thing I'm willing to admit, I'm not good at estimating how much pasta is enough for one person. Well, there's a tool for that. Uh, I'm sorry, does that scale progress from a child to a horse? It's really sad that I keep making servings in horse. Street witch. Spray paint and sigils, hanging with friends outside, burning incense while smoking, enchanting and charging regular stuff found on the streets to do what you want, clubbing while wearing makeup as glamours, and burning enchanted music mixes for friends. That sounds badass. I'm sick of magical worlds with no technology. 
Want fairy run coffee shops where you can get a latte with a shot of charisma because you got a big presentation you're worried about. Or witches working at Apple selling phones that automatically appear in your pocket if you accidentally leave it somewhere. Or psychics running hair salons who actually know how you want your hair to look. Or aura reader therapists. I just really want normalized magic in modern society. Writing this down. Write that down, write that down! Vampire dude to his vampire friend. But, but what was that word, Patrick? <clears throat> vampire due to his vampire friend. Wow. Looks like there's only one coffin. What do we do? Other vampire dude who reads a lot of fan fiction. If we could share it. And they were two mates. Oh my god, they were two mates. Years ago, my sister told me about how she used to play online survival games like Rust or something, etc. with her friends, and she'd go into voice chat with this over-the-top girly voice like, Um, hey, I don't, like, play video games much, and I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Can anyone, like, please come help me? I'm so confused. And then when some guy showed up, all of her friends would swarm and kill. Ah, yes. A siren. Behold, Krabby, or known as in Japan, Krabu. From crab. Crab is literally crab. Origin, it is based on a crab. Thank you. I don't understand people who can sleep without any light in a room. Like, is your imagination that bad that you can't help but think of the constant horrors lurking in the darkness anytime you see pure void? Or are you just a fucking hard ass? Wow, okay. The cat boys I signed for my all cat boy baseball team don't know what baseball is, and they're actively loud sobbing whenever they miss a swing, and whenever they dive to catch a ball, it bonks them on the head, and they go, wee, and our pitcher closes his eyes whenever he throws because he's scared, and we're beating every other team in the league. <laughs> I need to see this in FF14 now. New Urban Fantasy Theory. Walmart hires vampires. This explains why it's open 24 hours a day, why working there is often described as soul-sucking, and why there's almost always no windows. Most damningly, Walmart is one of the few stores that specifically hires a greeter with no other job than to welcome every person into the store. Because vampires have to be invited in. Wake the fuck up, America! You also notice that they don't sell many garlic products there? Hey, I may be a loser. But at least I'm not lactose intolerant. I'm going to rip the bill off of every hat you have! Definitely a threat, but what does that mean? I... I can't have been the only one to not realize Hayao Miyazaki and Hidetaka Miyazaki are, in fact, different people. Oh, holy shit, <clears throat> ah, it's so funny when I hear the phrase, no thoughts, head empty. It's because, like, lol, can't relate. Mostly because of my ADHD. I have literally never known a moment of peace. My thoughts are always whirling by and I have a constant monologue in my head or dialogue if I'm daydreaming. There's always something for me to think about. Sometimes it can be tiring, but in a way it's nice. My thoughts keep me company. Too many thoughts. Head full. So I was applying for Australian citizenship and the interviewer asked, do you have a criminal record? And I said, no, is that still required? Oh. My God. Jeff, I swear! I want to write something so good, people stay up till 3 in the morning writing theories and headcanons about it. Argent, I'm sorry. Pucky, a notification for your post woke me up at night. I never turned on notifications for you. Yeah, don't worry, I did that for you. Okay, but give me one good reason why you wouldn't date Kermit the Frog, besides that he is a puppet and a frog. I can't beat Miss Piggy in a fight. She's very strong and does karate. You know what? It's a very good point. <laughs> Archery's just dabbing before you murder somebody. I... Did... Okay! I'm so mad some crypto mining warehouse got doxxed and it's only like four hour drive away. If I only had a car... Pilgrimage. I'm talking about criminal activity. Ah! Crusade. What am I smiling at? <laughs> the made-up scenarios, of course. <laughs> Self-love is imagining how lovely life will be when I'm in my little cottage on a great big plot of land with gardens upon gardens, fresh bread in the oven, pie on the windowsill, and a cat pressing its sweet little head against my legs as we go about our day. Stop 
having amazing dreams. Please, it's killing me. I want it. If I ever respond to you with just a heart emoji, it's not meant to be dismissive. I'm bumping my shoulder against yours because I like you. I'm blinking slowly at you like a cat. I'm not actually mad. I just like the comedic delivery of righteous but pointless anger. You guys get me, right? Must suck ass to be like a lawyer or something in Pokemon world. They haven't made any cool lawyer Pokemon yet. Uh, hello. I think we have a different definition of lawyers, but sure. Well, why wouldn't ho -Oh be a lawyer? They're a phoenix, right? In the kindest way possible. Fuck you. By the way, I think Anon Ass should have a return to sender option, where you can reply privately with your own message, and the person who sent the Anon can publish it, but only if they're willing to admit they sent you the Anon. <sighs> Tumblr 1v1 cage match, let's go! I love how Tumblr is reverse chronological order, so when your mutual starts having a Blorbo breakdown overnight, you get to start with the insane conclusion and work your way back to where they first went off the rails. It's great! It is human nature to weave strings of yarn, threads, or fibers together to make a cloth and textile. Humans will see a soft cellulose plant material or downy animal coat and say, hey, is anyone gonna twist that? Staple fiber in order to make a cohesive thread and then not wait for an answer. Me is learning macrame. The Paleolithic archaic human that lives on my brainstem. Oh, yes, fuck! Yes! That's it! That's it, baby! Shit! Yes! Yeah! Starline wishes he had what Agent Stone has. Dr. Eggman's phone number. NASA, in your orbit. Well, I fucking hope so. Self-care is breaking into NASA and launching yourself directly into the fucking void. May we suggest a soothing bath instead? I gotta agree with NASA here. Please don't. What the fuck is Morbius even about? Morbius. 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 Morbid time. This is why we're getting a sequel, guys. You guys don't understand that the algorithm does not give a shit that you guys are talking about the show sarcastically. The only cares that just you're saying Morbius or Morbid Time. It's gonna give you a- it's giving you a second one! What have you done?! I always giggle at job titles given to certain employees. Like when I used to work at KFC Taco Bell restaurant, my job was to cook the KFC side of things. But my official title was, on paper, Chicken Champion. I'm so blind I kept reading titles as titties. <sighs> Finally. Safe for work titties. Isn't that your thing though, PM? <laughs> Listen here, you little shit! Hi. So apparently I just picked up an $8,000 organ off of the curb. The few seconds before I realized you meant the instrument were terrifying. Jugglers are the worst. I've never met a juggler who doesn't tell me about their juggling three sentences into our conversation. Have you? Have you ever met a juggler? Trust me, they let you know. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, I juggle in my free time, yet I don't mention it every three words. You just did! Rereading my own writing is just a constant fluctuation between Damn, girl, you wrote this? And Damn, girl, you wrote this? I'm such a fan of calling two guys trying to kill each other their divorce arc. Ah, Stanley and the narrator. Call me Super Mario the way I'd be laying down pipe it wasn't for all these turtles attacking me. 80 Shredder in the retirement home flirting with Krang. Normalize posting bad art. Normalize knowing your art isn't up to your standards, but putting it out there anyway. Not everything has to be perfect. Seeing someone improve is really cool. Go ahead, post that drawing you hate. Boost someone's bad doodles. Encourage people to draw more instead of making them feel less worthy because their art isn't always perfect. I mean, it's never stopped Butch Hartman. The most embarrassing thing in my life is whenever I see people and they ask what I've been up to. Literally nothing ever. I'm like, oh, you know, this, that, usual. Other sentences people say when they have nothing else going on in their lives. <laughs> hey, I love the uh, blood dripping from your face and the animal rage in your eyes. So, um, what's your pronouns? I have a bad habit of calling things loathsome if they mildly inconvenience me. Which usually isn't that bad, but today I spilled my drink and said, Loathsome juice under my breath without realizing that's not a normal thing to say. Everyone started laughing. Loathsome juice. Okay, not to get serious about a meme, but Morbius should have been a comedy. 
The idea of vampirism being the only way to cure a chronic illness is extremely funny. Imagine being in a support group with this goth guy and one day he's like, um, hi guys, uh, I'm not going to be able to come to the meetings anymore. And you're like, oh, why not Morbius? And he, sorry, I, ju I just can't finish this. I wrote the word Morbius one too many times and I started laughing too hard to continue. <laughs> I don't like the implication that his name was Morbius before he became a vampire. Oh, my sweet summer child. I hate to tell you this, but his legal name in the movie is Dr. Michael Morbius. Proof that most of the people memeing on Morbius haven't actually seen the movie. Hmm. I don't think we as a fandom talk enough about how John was kidnapped and aggressively moisturized by a clown for like a month. The fuck's been happening in Garfield comics? Me listening to my own playlist. Oh my god, that's crazy. I love this song. I love pitting classically trained magic users against self-taught magic users in sci-fi and fantasy. But it shouldn't be snobbish disdain for them. It should be terror. Who taught you lightning before basic telekinesis? I'm losing my mind. What do you mean you just did it? What do you mean you cast with your bare hands? Hey, <laughs> Jedi lightning go burr. In the canon of action movies, do you think the protagonist comes up with one-liners on the spot and rides the high of doing that for like a week? Or do they come up with it like a year beforehand, remember it, and then get so excited when a villain shows up so they can use it? The protagonist and the villain plan their epic speeches together the night before everything goes to shit so they both look badass. Ah, you, 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 you get it. I cast spell that makes you get out of the bed too fast and get dizzy. Pocky show, that's just iron deficiency. I cast spells to give you iron deficiency. I love the trope where an authoritative side character pointingly pretends not to help the hero they're supposed to be helping by saying shit like, Well, I can't let you just wander up to the third floor where you could just find the thing you need in the first room on the left, and under no circumstances should you use the key from under the mat. I wish I could help you, but I can't. Now, excuse me, I need to take this phone call for the next 37 minutes exactly. Ah, my favorite shit. Yes, I am full of love, but also insurmountable rage! Oh, shit, he mo- <sighs> Sup? The Stanley Parable is to MLM what Portal is to WLW. It's like that they made Portal for men. Finally, Portal for men. Stimming isn't enough sometimes. I need to become a dark, vibrating ball of TV static. Mm, that's the stuff, man. Goth clowns are just mimes. My girlfriend who works with clowns say that mimes came first, so technically, clowns are just scene mimes. Your girlfriend works with clowns. Stop making shows dark for the aesthetic I can't see. Also, stop whispering I can't hear. Little signs on the walls of the museum are for nutritional information. Wire and Canvas, 2019. Okay, so not a snack, and it's expired. Great. Great. Were those unoriginals? Were those trite and cliche? Were those entirely derivative? Man, that's a lot of hatred for one of the best candies ever. How dare you? Sometimes all you need is a homie who'll let you rest your head on their lap as you rest your eyes. I swear, I'm not catching feelings. It's, it's totally platonic. Just want to cuddle with the homies. Damn, girl, the power of love and friendship ain't working. Time to kill someone or whatever. I'm feeling like such a monster this morning. I'm eating soup with a fork and drinking the broth with a straw. All right, Satan, calm down. Hey, what the fuck do a horse's tails look like without the hair? Why? Why must you be? Writing prompt. Vampire society has been loyal customers to a carpenter for years. He made the best coffins they have slept in for centuries, and never really got suspicious of so many wealthy people willing to pay premium for the same niche item. As he got old, the vampires tried to offer him immortality. Wait! Hold on. This is the best movie idea ever. No, the worst kind of movies are the ones where the nerdy girl is in love with the popular dude and he ignores her, but after starting to wear makeup and pretty clothes, he suddenly falls in love with her. Ugh, heteroculture is disgusting. Hey, what's wrong with straight guys wearing makeup and pretty clothes? Wait, that's, that's not what you meant. Now that would be a movie. Some fools be like, I play games to escape my responsibilities. Then pick Tank or Healer. 
Hey, in my greatest fantasies, I am able to help people. Also, if there's anything I learned from playing healer in FF14, you become God. <sighs> Guys, the annoying orange was the first VTuber. Andy, do me a favor. Slap this post out of existence with your VTuber. You can't tell someone to avoid using tropes in their writing. Tropes are a literary device. Tropes are there even if you don't assign your story one. What you're actually referring to is a cliche, which is something you can choose to not include in your story. Hey, right? hey, right. Fan art is not real art. Do we need to talk about the relationship between the Renaissance and the Bible? Pucky, you give me theater kid vibes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've been sent death threats for over seven years, but this... This hurts more than any of those. Well, I didn't really end on a big scream because uh, allergies. So, Andy, slowly slide in the last image while I, uh, you know, present it in a dumb fashion. Behold. Lechonk. Damn, boy, he fit! Hi. Whatever our souls are made of, you and me are going to end up stuck in the same ice hole. Are you saying the hole is sealed? Hey, Pocky, what helps you get to sleep at night? Uh, I struggle to sleep every night, but what always works for me is staying up so late that I simply collapse. Hope this helps. Writing prompt. As an eldritch whore, you've strived to have effective humans under your command, but now other deities, good and bad, are complaining about your method. Apparently, providing therapy for those who can hear you isn't standard practice for your kind, but you are surprisingly good at it. Wait. Wait, hold on. Andy, is this me? Yes. Canon complaint. Derogatory. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Yeah, well, I can pick him up like this. <coughs> when your attorney is ace. I, I don't know. I've, I've never played the game. You can't make yourself the protagonist if you're a background character. However, you can become the antagonist if you fuck enough shit up. If the story won't focus on you, force it to. Be the fabulous gay villain that everyone loves and dreams about. People who don't cook their cereal don't realize what they're missing out on. The heat of the flame brings out the sweetness of the marshmallows. <laughs> Opie, I'm coming to your home to beat you in the face and ass. You, you guys seem surprised, but... Hot cereal already exists. It's called oatmeal. When in doubt, slap his ass. His is capitalized. Are, are, are you talking about God's ass? Are you in doubt? Just slap his ass. Justice is best served cold. Because if it were served warm, it would be just water. <sighs> this one was bad enough to make me slow blink at the computer as I grinned. So therefore, I had to inflict it on everyone else too. Them's the rules. My reason for doing things. One, spite. Two, the aesthetic. That's it. Thinking about the time I was struggling to open my water bottle in class and a girl who I'd spoken to maybe three times came up to me and went, here, let me help you, baby. Then proceeded to struggle to open the bottle. I would have fallen in love right then and there, not gonna lie. All right, guys, listen. The thing about not going to see Morbius is not just because it would be funny for it to flop again, but also because if it doesn't flop again, we're setting dangerous precedent. This will tell studios that if their movie flops, all they have to do is try to engineer memes to make it popular. We cannot have studios trying to manufacture and force memes. Please, for the love of God, don't go see Morbius in theaters. Please. No more Morbin time. So my friend went away for 10 days, so I decided it would be a perfect time to wrap everything she owns in aluminum foil. W why? Why not? Line, the worst sin is that you've betrayed and destroyed yourself for nothing, is so raw you think it's from Destiel fanfic or even Italia, but it's actually from Dostoevsky's Crimes and Punishment. Wow. Your book is going to be great. Just put one word in front of the other. Until we hit a plot hole. No! No negativity. You drop into that hole, see what you can learn from it, clamber out, and finish your draft. 
You can edit a bad book, but not a blank page. I ate a dubious and really salty quiche before a class once, and it made me so sleepy I had my head on the desk fighting for consciousness, and I kept seeing images of horrible dogs with human teeth laughing at me flashing into my head. Ah, you fell for the classic Benadryl quiche prank. You get to everyone every time. Hey, if the Owl House takes place in Connecticut, Amphibia in California, and Gravity Falls in Oregon, what the fuck is happening in Florida? Andy, quick, figure out what's happening in Florida. Behold, the first ever photo of a cat in history, 1880. <sighs> the beginning. How, how is that cat so perfect? How did we, we could never set the standard. Two near divergent people having a conversation is literally just a nonstop loop of, oh yeah, that reminds me of topic that is completely unrelated. I'm gonna need you to stop calling me out like this. I don't appreciate it. Yo, ancient Roman meme discovered. One, two, two, 50. It doesn't translate very well. <sighs> Get the fuck out! Ooh, woo. The neighbors are listening to Simple and Clean Remix on repeat at max volume, whether they want to or not. Uh -huh. After being spotted eating sugarcane, Baby Elephant tries to hide behind a light pole. What Baby Elephant? I don't see anything. Andy, do you see anything? Sweating too much? Try this. Learn more at- Had a dream I saw this ad in a paper. Please stop, this looks like a real Tumblr ad. Really normal about this fictional character. But no longer normal about him. I need to become him. Friendly reminder that having a healthy interest in weird and strange and unnatural and unsettling fictional situations is more normal than sending hate to strangers on the internet about it. For the love of God, let people enjoy things. When will my swagless looks and cringe fail personality captivate someone? <laughs> Sag. I may have girl bossed a bit too close to the sun. I got a bag, a half empty bag of bread and was so excited that I involuntarily yeeted myself at the floor. I tripped. I'm saying that I trip. Oh, okay. Does Gotham even bother with announcing the weather ever? Like, is there even a need for a weather channel? Would you risk firing the local weatherman and have him snap and buy a cut-rate weather control machine in order to become the forecaster? I don't think so. Behold, iPod Shuffle 4th Gen. Hot pink, purple, and dark blue. Oh my god, bisexual iPod Shuffle. Bipod Shuffle. If I ever start a band, I'm going to name it Music, and then it will be literally impossible to find any of our songs on the internet. The first album, Unknown Album. The hit single, Track one, album art. Some people want to watch the world burn. And when we finally kill the gods, neither hell nor heaven will be waiting for them because they created those to imprison us. Burn my eggs and got mad, sorry. <laughs> First it was pondering orbs, then it was blobo. Now it is Morbius. What does this mean? <laughs> Balls. Oh my god, Andy, hit the button. We found the funniest <laughs> man on the internet. Such, such a comedic genius. When someone has a good take about my favorite media, I blush and twirl my hair and kick my legs. But when they're wrong about it, I bite and attack and kill, 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 kill. Worst movie trope is when the weird girl gets a makeover. Fuck you. Fuck off. I hate you. Make her weirder. Say it with me. Makeup is gender neutral. I whispered, makeup is gender neutral, out loud on the train, and the guy next to me looked at me weird, but then whispered, fuck yeah, back. Which one of you is gonna tell me that tea tastes different if you put it in hot water? What the, f what the f you, you were putting it in cold water? Radish? Answer the question, Radish. Yeah? I thought for like five years that people just put it in hot water to speed up the teaification process. Didn't realize there was an actual reason. You think I have the patience to boil water? What the fuck? You don't have the patience to microwave water for three minutes. Y'all are microwaving your tea. <laughs> Andy, vaporize them. Somebody once told me the British are coming. Hey, do you really want to know why we have Pride Month in summer? <laughs> because. Pride cometh before the fall.
<laughs> well, hello, my delightfully devilish Tumblr listeners. Do I have a surprise for you? Well, bam! She's here. Sienna Plush 2.0 Cosmic Wonders Edition. Oh my god, look at her. She's adorable! Look at her! Look at her! Look at her! You can snag this adorable plushie right now on makeshift, and if we hit 200 sales, everyone who ordered one will get one. And if we get more, well then, that just means we get more. Right? Sienna, that seems right, right? Cool. All right. Let's get to it. Tiny me, take it away. <clears throat> Ow! God, you freaking sell out. I think I found that some media is more fun to consume through fandom and other media should be consumed without fandom entirely. Now get out there and find the fandom that applies to both. There is no winner in D&D. &D. Um, you are so wrong, it's laughable. The winner is whoever can make the DM create the most new rules. When my mutuals change their URL and icon and block theme, I just have to resort to smelling them with my antennae to identify them. Snom, is that you? Floating down the river sticks on an inflatable donut and high-fiving all the lost souls I pass. Ah, I'm on vacation. Concept! Two rival biologists on a mad dash to discover the most hideous, revolting new species so they can name it after the other one. I need this movie in my life. A stealth mission my cowboy had back from my platonic wife. yee This is mildly blasphemous, but in Toy Story Universe, do baby Jesus figurines from nativity sets think they're actually Jesus? Or are they just like, babies? Wow, uh, y'all see the words, this is mildly blasphemous, but, and just immediately reblog. Things which make writers anxious. Not writing. Writing. People reading their stories. People not reading their stories. Editing. Not editing. Having too many ideas. And having no ideas. Are you okay? No! I've been the same height since I was 14. Psst. Anthropositure, people. Well, well, well. Same height <laughs> since you were 14. How tall are you, Opie? Girls love him for his poor posture and pathetic demeanor. Geologist talking about shield volcanoes. All right, I love you. This post is about only shield volcanoes now. Everyone else, fuck off. Well, thank you for the lively conversation. We were talking about ghosts. I know. <laughs> Imagine the sweetest guy in the world, but he shouts every word he says. I mean, I can't imagine that. Kind of. It's, it's the guy editing this video right now and some of his roles. Mm -hmm. Every anime girl picture posted on social media is either you, me, or us. There is no exception. Yo, smoking that shit that made YouTube poop. Yo, this edible ain't sheesh. This edible ain't penis. My boy, die. Ah, uh, Mama Luigi! Can't believe the narrator is the new Tumblr sexy man. Oh, no, 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 no. He was a sexy man when the OG game was in vogue. We're just dragging him back out of retirement. Welcome back to the spotlight, my British gilf. Um, I think we need to shut Tumblr off for a while. You know what, Andy, just, uh, j just hit the power button. Let let's just see what happens. Hold on to your butt. Extreme Nose's pants is on you. <gasps> no way! How did they... <laughs> what? But she... <laughs> the whole barbecue sauce bottle? <laughs> That's crazy. Humans are weird. <laughs> Wait, how did you know this story? <laughs> Why didn't you invite me? <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> you are so wise beyond your years, great... <laughs> So cute. Hi. What to do when you don't like a fic? A step-by-step -step guide. Step one, the back button. Amazing tutorial. I recommend to everyone. Works flawlessly every time. Highly recommend. Favorite protagonist type is the guy who's just having a really weird day. I love that one, too. Andy, put up a picture of your favorite. Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel. That's inspiring, I like it. Please be patient with me, I'm experiencing horrors unknown to you at all times. Those Muppets that take two people to operate are a testament to real love on Earth. Drift compatible. 
Nyum. Behold a cute snail eating a strawberry. You just take your time there, little buddy. Anyone else first think that this snail freaking unhinged its huge ass jaw? Oh my god. That's kind of <laughs> that actually. I hate it when I get inspired to art. And then I art. And the art says, no. <sighs> Same. If your cat is curious about what you're eating, always let him have a little whiff. Nine out of ten times, they don't even want to eat it. They just wanted to know what it was. It's cute. Cat wrote this. This is fake. I tried it and my cat fucking ate my chip. This is cat propaganda. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. They did say nine out of ten times. You got the ten percent, cat. Small brain. Steven Universe is a vegetarian because he's a pacifist. Big brain. Steven Universe is vegetarian because his spit heals flesh. Please. Please don't say things like this. But didn't he also bring the watermelon Stevens and pumpkin to life in the same matter? Every meal is a race against the clock for Stephen Q universe. Well, at least his food is always fresh. <laughs> Something about Quora is evil. Quora is to Yahoo Answers is what TikTok is to Vine. <gasps> this is it! My ADHD is so bad that it's not common for me to literally accidentally tune out something I'm saying in my own head. And living proof, because I had to do this one so many times. One Piece is dumb, because they spend 500 episodes looking for One Piece when they can just go to KFC and get a three-piece combo with two sides for $5.99. Totally not sponsored by KFC! You know what one of my favorite things is about albino rats? The terminology used for the coloration is pink-eyed white rat. Shortened to pew rat. The albino gene is a recessive trait, so I saw a post describing the breeding of two albinos, and it looked like this. Pew times pew equals pew. Little laser beams. Andy, shoot an albino rat across the screen now. Pew! Finding new Blorbo-like. You seem unstable, and I find that attractive. Yeah. Writing prompts. You're a humble baker selling your pies in a medieval village. Unbeknownst to you, you're an NPC in an RPG, and the devs gave you ridiculously high stats as a joke. A speedrunner is now abusing every last trick, glitch, and dialogue option in the book to get you to kill the final boss for him. Guess what Pat the Baker is cooking today? Sometimes you just have to be mentally ill to get mentally well. So if you're thinking Naruto would be proud of you for brushing your teeth is what it gets for you to brush your teeth, well, grab that toothbrush, Statebayo. Hey, how do autistic people flirt? Interesting question. Have you ever heard of the Kubrick stare? Why do I feel so called out right now? You wouldn't download an orb. Orb teleportation is theft. <laughs> Says you, Andy, download the orb now, let's go. Okay, all right. What if someone got bitten by a vampire but didn't realize it, so then they go around and keep misidentifying all the symptoms, like, dude, you haven't gone outside in a while. Yeah, last time I went out, I got like this wicked sunburn. Are you still up? Yeah, I just started binge watching the show on Netflix. I'm seriously craving something right now. Well, like what? I don't know. Pizza rolls? Um, why is it that you never come into my house unless I invite you? Um, it's called being polite. Dude, you stopped wearing your favorite silver necklace. Yeah, I don't know. It just started making me really itchy. I need this show. Hey, do you think Shadow could use his rocket shoes to cook a chicken? This was based on my likes. Thank you, Tumblr. Also, yes, absolutely. Damn. I need a new word for old blorbos that aren't really your blorbos anymore, but you still feel fondness for them. The series ended or you just fell out of the fandom, but your mutuals still put them on your dash sometimes and you go, aw, he's still out there making it in the big city. Blorbins is the funniest response so far. Thank you. They been my blorbos. Love it. If you don't understand why I tagged a certain post as a certain character, don't worry about it. Just know I'm right. You, an intellectual. The Demogorgon? Me, an idiot. The Demogorgon, Zola. Mm. <sighs> the thing is, I would eat the grapes. I would eat the pomegranate seeds. I would eat the Turkish delights. It doesn't matter what the stakes are. If you put a little plate of snacks out in front of me, I'll eat them. If you sent me to an evil fantasy realm and told me that if I ate everything, I would die a painful, terrible death, then set a charcuterie board down in front of me, and that would be it for me. Like, it wouldn't even be the torturous internal struggle to not eat the cheese. I wouldn't even need to be that hungry. <sighs> Mood. 
Imagine you're walking in a field at night and a UFO appears overhead. Bright lights shine down at you and you start getting lifted into the air, but then the unearthly voice says, Shit, 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 wrong one! And you get unceremoniously dumped back onto the ground. Then the light focuses on a frog that is about two feet to your left and picks that up instead. Perfect. I just want to see more villains who care about their henchmen. I want to see the bad guy fly into a rage because the hero hurt their very favorite bungling goon and it was nearly his birthday. How dare you fail me, you miserable oafs! Should be retired. How dare they bully my adorable oafs! Should be industry standard. Underlings having to hold back their dark lord like an overprotective parent because they don't want a famous hero to get outright murdered just on their behalf. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, that movie does exist. It's called Despicable Me and the Minions spinoff. Especially with what Rise of Gru looks like it's supposed to be. So, sorry. My art history teacher is like, there were zero women artists during the Renaissance. Well, there was Sononispa, but that's it. And I'm steaming because there were more female artists during the Renaissance. And I know this because I spent hours researching women artists in the Renaissance so I could figure out what to name my girl Ninja Turtle OC when I was 11. Dedication. Ocarina at time Zelda really said, Go back to your time and enjoy the childhood you lost. And then her child self immediately said, Nah, no, fuck that. Take this ocarina and leave the country and don't tell anybody. And no one outside of the royal family will know of your accomplishments. Like, girl. God damn. Girl's first instinct is to send a boy away as far as possible as soon as possible. Uh, I like to believe it's because they just ratted on Ganondorf that he was going to do a bunch of things and Link got sent into the witness protection program. I could fix them. I could make him worse. Yeah, well, I could do this to him. I love this series so much. You know the euphoria you get when you're scrounging around something unrelated and then you see something related to your special interests? <sighs> I would like to say that Egypt started graphic novels. Y'all ain't ready for that. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on the right. Fanfic writers really said, In any universe, in any scenario, despite any obstacle, these people would love each other. And I think that's very cool of us. Keith. Blood is thicker than water. Yes, but syrup is thicker than blood. Therefore, pancakes are more important than family. In this essay, I will... Ah, oh, sweet skateboard! Oh, 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 it's not ripe yet. Ugh. Always some kind of fucking temperature. <sighs> A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with arms around their back to avoid having to draw the hands. I really tried to scroll past this. The denial was eating me alive, though. This post is my life. A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with really long side bangs to avoid drawing another eye. And it just slowly slide in my shame. Thank you. Do y'all dream about cuddling with Tumblr mutuals who live hundreds of miles away, or am I just insane? I cast curse and infest your dreams with Pikachu Man. How dare you? Not to brag, but I know some pretty big words. Like whilst and tubular. Oh, and onomatopoeia. That's my son, I'm so proud of him! My favorite part of the Book of Mormon is when that angel said, It's Mormon time! And then they mormed all over the place. That... That didn't happen. <sighs> First post of the day and I'm already swept off my feet. I know every digit of pi. I don't know what order. He doesn't know the order. Guys, don't hug me, I'm scared it's coming back. And if I don't see... Any Tumblr sexy manization fan art of the new characters, I'll honestly be so disappointed! Face holding is something that is so precious and personal to me. Yes, grab my face or cradle it in your hands. I'll gladly put myself under the mercy of the strength of those hands. Please. Oh, so old Tumblr ads are allowed to be weird, but when I, the full makeup human Pikachu man- Salt preserves food because it smells like the ocean and Mole doesn't know how to swim and gets scared. I, the sad part is, is I can't argue with this because, I mean, I don't know if it's wrong or right. My gender is Schrodinger's cat. It is both feminine and androgynous unless observed. Let's go away, putting it. Yes. Such a shame that good soundtracks get wasted on shitty-ass movies. Yeah.
Or Netflix a country? Negative numbers depressed? Newborn baby supposed to ribbit? Non-CIA or FBI? Nazis from anime? Narwhals, Nars or Walls? Nintendo developing a nuclear bomb? Nuts of kind of nuts! I can't choose a favorite! My literal favorite thing in the world is when people get mad when Obi-Wan does a morally fucked up thing and scream, MISCHARACTERIZATION! As if he's not been a frigid little bitch since day one. His number one character trait has always been low-key manipulative. See you next Tuesday. And that's okay. As if that's not part of why we're insane over him. Oh, you're near divergent? <laughs> what non-human being did you pretend to be slash believe yourself to be in order to cope with the disconnect you felt from the peers during your early childhood? Envy zombies! You shut your mouth! Andy! Punch this post! I do not get called out like this! A video essay about a weird, obscure side of Tumblr, except the further into the video you get, the more obvious it is they're talking about your blog specifically. I wish. Ugh, that trope is so overused. Oh, okay. What are you gonna tell me next? That the sunset is overdone? The sound of your favorite song is passe? The sight of your loved ones is worn out and tired? That we shouldn't revel in the simple joy of everything we know that we like? All because some of the arbitrary quota you've imagined? Also, to the people who say that a trope is overused, hey, nice opinion. Did a YouTuber give you that opinion? Sometimes I actually do forget that straight people exist for a second. I keep expecting these men's warehouse ads to be gay, but then there's there's a bride there too. Who knew? Masculine looking cishat guy wearing an ask me about my pronouns shirt. And when you ask him about his pronouns, he really excitedly explains to you that they're he him. Cronk energy. Oh yeah, absolutely. If I ever become a history teacher, I'm going to write gullible on the ceiling. Then in the middle of the class, I'll announce, there's gullible written on the ceiling. After the whole look versus not look shenanigan occurs, I shall then slam my books on the desk, prop myself up, lean forward and say, welcome to history. Your first lesson, check your facts for yourself. That's chaotic evil. No, chaotic learning. You know, it's fun to chant Bloody Mary into your card side mirror three times and watch her jog and try to keep up. Wow, he being a dick even to demons. Are you a Winchester? I've been playing Portal 2 for the first time and I'm loving this new British orb thing they introduced. He's my best friend. No one tell them. This is fucking awesome. I asked one of my straight friends if he'd marry me specifically for tax benefits in a few years, and he said sure. He also said I could just commit tax fraud. You're going to light a fish on fire. No! I'm going to hit a shark with radiant damage. There is a difference. Saw a post that annoyed me. What the hell? I trusted you guys. That's it. Turn off Tumblr again. <laughs> hey, sorry for being weird lately. It's just that I've been weird lately. It's definitely gonna happen again. I tried to convince my mom that I hadn't stayed up all night, but then she told me that she heard me clapping along to the Friends theme song every 20 minutes. Why are trans women so pretty and trans men so handsome? Why do aromantics give such good hugs? Why does Joltik want to be lifted to the stars by the bi and pen? Joltik is confused. Oh my god, my other son! Writing prompt. The news were shocking. In one week, a gigantic meteor was going to hit the earth and obliterate it. Chaos ensues. Anarchy breaks out. Governments fall. A week later, everyone braces as they see the meteor. Miss the earth. Barely. Things get awkward. Pretty sure there's a lot of fan fictions for that prompt right there. But not about government falling. <laughs> Gross. This chicken nugget I got is shaped like a heart, and I really think you should look at it. Aww. You, you gonna eat that? Game Theory, Elder Scrolls series. All the sentient species from the myrrh to the beasts are all descendants of mountain goats. Reasoning? All you who are morbid right now climb to the top of the throat of the world without using the 7,000 steps in your first playthrough of the game, and you all did it with ease. Coincidence? I think not! As you Hadouken the rug. DM while the party is fighting the rug of smothering. I'm sorry, the what? 
Hey, instead of a stoic hero and a chatty villain, or a chatty hero and a stoic villain, imagine if they're both chatty. Just the villain trying their best to kill the hero while the two of them have an in-depth discussion about the opinion of Pumpkin Spice. No, but seriously, orange is a really fun color. <laughs> but your entire room? Whoa! I'm not painting my entire room orange. <laughs> oh. Well then, why did you ask my opinion on paint colors if you're not going to listen? This is now my favorite stage, for one reason, and one reason alone. Well, I didn't see you. Wobbin. <sighs> Six out of ten, Pat. All I can do is rotate a fictional man so fast in my mind he starts to get motion sickness. Andy, quick, I need you on this one. Okay, take this picture of Rife and Medstars. Now spin him around. Ah, thank you. Might fuck around and read a 500 page physical published book in one sitting like it's 2006 and I'm being bullied in middle school, so I take refuge in the library and hail books at a frightening speed that I've not been able to replicate since. God damn, OP, you didn't need to just kill everyone who grew up with undiagnosed ADHD like that. Well, shoot! I've learned something! To be honest, there has never been a fictional character I've actually wanted to date. Like, I want them to date each other. I don't want myself as a person to be involved in this scenario whatsoever. What would I add to this narratively? What's my thematic purpose in the narrative? That's immersion breaking. I'm the director, bitch, not the actor! Don't hide this in the tags, that's exactly it. The worst part about having mental health issues is that you're seemingly required to have a breakdown in order for people to understand how hard you were trying to hold yourself together. How dare you say such a thing to me? Yeah. It's like when people say, oh, this, this computer's not working so good. And they're like, no, that seems to be working fine for me. And then it blue screens and they're like, oh, oh, we did have a problem. Notes. Three cheers for the brain cell. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip. Oh, shoot. I forgot how to count to three now. Alex Hirsch, anytime he can and sometimes when he can't. I've come to make an announcement. Disney is a bitch-ass motherfucker. They're pissed off because my silly kids show. That's right. They look at my harmless joke and they censored it. And I said, that's dumb. So now I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. Disney, you got a small dick. It's the size of this walnut, except way smaller. Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you. Oh, God. Bill's pissing on the moon. <laughs> Hey, I throw pies at your people? I'm four foot ten, three quarters. Where's my pie? Where is it? Ah, uh, fell into the black hole, sorry. Ah, uh, can, I, can I get that pie now? Sure, just go and get it from right over there. Guys, I'm phobic. Uh, uh, I'm just scared. You know, some people say rolling for stats in D&D is old fashioned and unforgiving, but I think it builds character. Yes! Two small indie bands on two different stages facing each other. First band plays their own original music, but the band across from them plays it all backwards perfectly. If you stand at the exact midpoint between the stages, all you hear is silence. <gasps> you were there. I accidentally read for 11 hours. Accidentally. Right. He's a nine, but gets naked in a sewer regularly. Which makes him a 10! Pennywise? Writing prompt. You work for a secret agency that deals with the supernatural, and you just shared a dumb idea with your boss as a joke. Hey, instead of keeping everything under wraps, why don't we just release all the info to the public, but pretend it's a work of fiction? You got promoted on the spot. Ancient cat boys, or Neanderthals, if you will. I most certainly will not. I feel like I've done this one, but Neanderthals. <laughs> It's... Yeah. To anyone who says Virgil is the coolest character in video games, I give you this. Virgil, always fighting his brother, needs a sword and demon magic to cause any real damage, lacks any sort of facial hair, has never de-haunted a building before, and isn't an Italian. Now Luigi loves his brother very much, can and will beat the shit out of you with nothing but a vacuum, has a glorious flowing mustache, has de haunted at least seven buildings before, and is Italian. I think we all know who wins out. Oh yeah. You know, Pinocchio could tell us so much about the universe, he could randomly claim things like, The Big Bang!
thing happened! And his nose would confirm or deny her theories. Ugh. Pinocchio's not omniscient. His nose grows when he's intentionally being dishonest. Things heating up in the Pinocchio fandom. Double clicks ya. Windows asks me what to open you with. I choose notepad. I delete a random chunk of text. And save as .exe. Oh, thanks. I needed that. <laughs> My father told me once to never date anyone who talks smoothly around you from the start because if someone likes you, they should be a little nervous. And honestly, I think that's some of the best advice anyone has ever given me. And I just told my dad about this text post and he got so excited he teared up and then he said he felt like he just adopted 40,000 new children to share his wisdom with and he hopes all of you meet kind, sweet people he would be proud of. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Gnomes. I just ground gargoyles. You shut your mouth. You're under arrest. On what charge? All of them. Literally all of them. I put my phone down and can't find it. A saga. Want me to call it? It's on silent. A tragedy in three parts. I'll call it anyway. Everyone stands around really quietly listening for a faint buzzing noise. A comedy. Andy, do you hear it? I think I hear it. <gasps> it's over there. Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's co-worker. <laughs> co-workers, Jesus. Rewind. Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's workers by ordering a burger in perfect Japanese. I... I feel like I need context for this one. But I'm probably not gonna get it. I love haunting. When it's literal, I love haunting as a metaphor. I love haunting as a feeling you carry. I love haunting as a memory of past trauma you experienced or caused. I love haunting as a person. I love haunting as a place. I love haunting as something alive that you tried to bury, but it clawed its way out of a hole you dug and found its way back to you. I love haunting as something dead that you cannot let die. Give me all the spoopies. When you're watching TV and your sibling gets out of the good chair to get a drink, it's free real estate. Sibling culture is willingly dehydrating yourself for hours to avoid giving up the seat you earned, Zach! Peppers are the spicy of the fire. Mint is the spicy of the ice. Carbonation is the spicy of the air. And vinegar is the spicy of the water. And ginger is the spicy of the earth. Why would you both say things so controversial, yet so brave? You ever hear a new song and immediately go, Ooh, the fake scenarios in my head are gonna love this. Always hot local singles in my area and never recently awoken bloodthirsty vampires. Shaking my head. Shout out to the girls who don't mind being called dude and man casually. Shout out to the boys who don't mind being called girl. Shout out to the humans who don't mind being called dog. Shout out to the dogs who will let you call them anything so long as you say it in a happy, friendly tone. And shout out to guinea pigs which are neither pigs nor from Guinea. Y'all need to stop shouting and use your indoor voices. You ever sit down and think about how your gender, like, feels? Like, mine feels like a smooth ball with a bright aqua blue lighting. My gender is the demon core. I haven't. As much as I love, I would kill for you. It kind of really loses its impact if the person saying it is a villain who already kills at the slightest provocation. I would refrain from killing for you. I would spare them all if you asked me, is a very sexy alternative. And a much more powerful declaration of love coming from a character prone to violence. Writing that one down. If you ask me what book I'm reading, I'll either go into a long-winded and enthusiastic summary of the entire thing, or just lift the book to show you the title and keep reading. Yeah. I've had enough internet for today. I'm eating myself into a pillow fort and looking up cute cats. <sighs> No, I will not elaborate. It's such a fun line. But unfortunately, I have ADHD and am incapable of shutting up. Yes, I will elaborate. Yes, I will elaborate, and that is a threat. Yes, I will elaborate, but it won't make anything clear. Yes, I will elaborate, but I'll forget my original point after 30 seconds. A retired Mr. Weasley casting a disillusionment charm on himself and going to listen to university lectures on astrophysics or engineering. Some poor sleep-deprived students sitting next to him and thinking they finally cracked as they hear random comments like fascinating, ingenious, or sorry dear, but would you pick up that pen for me? My back isn't what it was. Followed by, oh darn, when he forgets he's invisible. Beautiful. If my future SO doesn't stare at me like I'm their whole world while I stand in the candle section of Target smelling every single candle before buying one, then what's the point? My mom does this and my dad always watches her. 
She thinks he's not paying attention, but last year he remembered the ones she liked and used that knowledge to get her a custom-scented candle for their anniversary. He had it named Target Sniffs. This is the cutest addition to this post I could ever have asked for. You support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how this alpaca learn how to type? Diversity win! The alpaca's gay! The ultimate power move in a vampire-fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who tries to invite them into their home. The fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality, and neither can refuse the appointment without showing weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into a position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them. And the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. Where is this book? I need it. Most movies. Girls change itself to impress boys. The Princess Diaries. Cinematic masterpiece. Girl change itself to impress grandma. Well, I too would change everything about myself. It would impress Julie Andrews. I have done nothing but play Ark Survival Evolved for the past few days. Sleep, game, piss, repeat. Exactly what I've been doing. No such thing as wasting your 20s. Your 20s are for recovering from whatever the fuck happened to you as a kid so that you're ready to get weird with it in your 30s. Yes. Perfect. I love that we all agree that having a Tumblr post blow up is an inherently bad thing. And yet, PM Seymour content, wait a second, is literally a bunch of Tumblr users on his Discord server being like, show this to the entire internet, heart emojis. And then he does because they're an absolute legend. Bullshit. We're all just out here ruining people's lives. It's awesome. I mean, as long as no one's feelings get hurt, right? Right, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Writing prompt. Aliens have invaded and are taking over. Their technology, intelligence, and power is unstoppable. They just didn't plan on one thing. The old gods returning. Ra waking up in some buried pyramid somewhere. Huh? What's happening? Thor walking around the surface banging pots and pans together. Everybody get the hell up! We have visitors and we haven't vacuumed in 10,000 years! Oh my god, Zeus is back to seduce all the aliens! Happy 4th of July, I guess. The relationship between me and Pink is more complex than most people's marriages. It's true. Come on, child safety lid. You know it's me. The dumb boy. Just open, please. There's a pink, blue, and white flower at the grocery store. I have to make a joke. Call that a transplant. Ugh. The best part about making someone else's post viral is not having to deal with the notes. All right, team. You know what to do. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, please. Hey, thanks for making me this hot tea, bro. Hey, why did this steam make the shape of a skull and crossbones when you stirred it? <laughs> is, that, is that like an herbal thing? So, like, as a kid, I used to think that those red triangle buttons in cars were ejector seats. What if no one ever clarified that for me? Oh my god, we're gonna crash! It's okay, we have ejector seats! But we... we do? It's red button time! I have made a grave error. Here's a complete list of people who can decide if someone is LGBTQ+. One, the person themselves. And number two, Vortex the ever moist, who can turn your gender into snail. Cool. In the club, getting a drink. Would anyone else like a drink? In the club, spill my drink on you by accident. Sorry. Oh, yeah. In the club, going soggy mode. There's a post that goes something like, I like calling Stanley from TSP Stanley Parable because it's funnier as his full name. Because I now raise you Stanley Parable and his husband, Narrator Parable. Please remember that I am a Canadian illustrator, and it is fucking bizarre to come with me with medical questions. Hey, why would you limit yourself to drawing Canadians? Everyone else, please unfollow me. I want to be alone with Arsnoff. Do you think two girls could on purpose kiss? Mm, it would be tricky, but I think it could be done. 
working tirelessly in the lab to figure it out. Okay, we need to discuss dad aesthetics. Tractor dad, girl dad, rich vacation dad, punk dad, workout dad, gardening dad. What's your dad's dad's aesthetic? What's your dad aesthetic? How about beach dad? They can be like either a kahuna, just hangs out, not exactly in shape, vibes with people in sandals, shades, tank top, and cargo shorts. Or surfer dad, in shape, tank top, swimming trunks, more appropriate sandals, and much more popular. Oh my god, Beach Dad. We love Beach Dad. Beach Dad and Surfer Dad definitely compete at beach volleyball. Full Top Gun sequence. Let's go. Outfit idea. The, uh, my eyes are up here hat, but with those alien googly eyes bouncing above it. Peak design. A brief insight into a world where animals vocalize like Pokemon. Doc, what's wrong with me? Well, let's take a listen. Oh, I assure you, it's quite based. Based on what, Phoenix? Based, based on, on gay, gay manga! manga. Well, as long as Phoenix is happy. Meanwhile, we're still trying to recover Edgeworth from his bad case of glossy fever. There, there are no words. Yes, there are. Badass, dope, sick, cool as fuck, etc. Who the fuck found my car? Oh fuck, I hope this scary hallway has bitches. Mm. My favorite trope is leave all your weapons. Takes out far more weapons than expected or logically able to carry. And then, I said all of them. Takes out a dozen more weapons from increasingly improbable locations. And then, stern look. Pulls out one more tiny pistol. Ah, oh, that's a good trope right there. The Chesapeake Bay is surprisingly shallow. A six foot tall woman can wade through over 700 thousands of acres of the bay without wetting her hat. <gasps> Who is she? Woman seeking woman. I'm six foot tall, fashionable, and enjoy long walks through brackish estuary waters off the coast of Virginia. She's our most famous cryptid. The bay in the bay. Fun history facts. One of 31 people arrested at Stonewall on June 28th, 1969 was American folk singer Dave Von Ronk, who was not at the Stonewall Inn at the time and was cis and straight, as far as I'm aware. He'd been eating dinner at a nearby restaurant when he noticed a riot happening and said, Well, I suppose I should go see what the fuss is about. Stepped outside and immediately started throwing bricks at cops. Wow, I love my character so much. I wish I could draw. Just make them Canadian. You are on such thin ice! <sighs> Writing prompt. They say never meet your heroes, and boy were they right. So you decided to meet your villain, hoping to be wrong about them as well. Isn't that just Megamind? I love this image so much, yet I will never know the source. I think about this image every day, but I will never know who fatefully decided to water their Vaporeon. This image, it pains me. It pains me as much as that goddamn copy pasta. What did you guys do to my favorite Eevee evolution? Have you guys heard about cats? They go meow, by the way. Not that you care. No, I care very much. Keep going. Okay, so get this. They have ears that go pachow. Hey, listen, any machine can be a smoke machine if you use it wrong. Hell yeah. I wish people realized that just because someone's love language may be physical touch, that doesn't automatically mean it's sexual touch. Sensual attraction and platonic intimacy exist too. Yeah. Trains are literally a kind of animal. House we moved into is closer to the tracks now, and every time they get near the station, they start honking because they're happy to be home. They're kind of a macrofaunal myriapod, I think. Wonderful beast. Powerful animal. You go, you funky little long snake. I've looked into the eyes of Satan, and he was wearing a 15% off sale Earl Grey cardigan. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Cat girl maids are all unionized. Imagine all those cat girl maids striking for better pay. What do we want? Better, better wages. wages! When do we want them? Yeah! Uh, I think you meant meow. Oh no, I had an idea. I'm gonna regret this later. <laughs> Anytime I write tragedy. If Asgardians speak English but originate from Scandinavian folklore, then by all rights, shouldn't Thor, Loki, and the company sound like they're from Minnesota? Oh yeah, my name's Loki, and I am burdened with glorious purpose, don't you know? This would get me to watch all of the Thor movies. Vocaloids have nothing on Moonbase Alpha TTS. 
In fact, Andy, hit the deck. I'm going to hit it with them right now. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. The ooh. When someone got in trouble in elementary school, that was a Greek chorus. Hey, how long does it take before a forest god comes to get you after you leave a strand of your hair and a fresh loaf of bread in a mushroom circle by the lake? Asking for a fre- They got her. I'm happy for her. Let's take a moment to appreciate how goth culture has allowed many closeted trans people the opportunity to wear jewelry, makeup, and nail polish under less scrutiny from the cishet world. Or, conversely, combat boots, waistcoats, Oxford shoes, ties, stud belts, wallet chains, and other traditionally masculine accessories. The total and utter blurring of the gender binary is honestly this style's biggest source of power. Let's be real. We got dudes in corsets and gals in tuxes and some folks wearing both at the same time. God fucking bless goth culture. Mwah. Love it. When you're vibing with your cat and they go, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, biting you, grooming you, grooming you. Okay, done. Nap time. Today I learned in Argentina, the seventh son of a couple automatically receives the godfathership of the president to prevent him from turning into a werewolf. Finally, a responsible government. I think we should treat the AI nice. Whether it's sentient or not is not a thing for me. It's how we treat intelligences that are not human. I talk to my machines all the time. That being said, I'm mean to Alexa because she's a fucking fed. You can always be mean to feds. Hmm. Sounds like something an AI would say after even posting a Twitter post on Tumblr. Andy, quick, hit him with the capture test! Down asses. Hi, um... This is awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um... Do, do you think you could push your boulder up somewhere else? like a different hill because this one's kind of already taken yeah it's the one i decided to die on so yeah okay everyone time for soup day everyone gets to add one ingredient i'll start i added some bullion cubes okay i added some bullion cubes who's next yeah i went ahead and added some bullion cubes hey i'll just so you know i added some bullion cubes well i spice things up with a billion cubes well, this soup fucking sucks, guys. He is my meow meow! This post is not about Stranger Things! The people tagging Silver the Hedgehog are right, though. They could stay. Ah, personal culture right there. Tonight, normal event. Nobody dead. Nobody injured. But this isn't as fun! The process of reading. Oh, this book is amazing. This book makes me want to die. Be not afraid. It's just the way people spoke when the Bible was rewritten into English. Angels don't have a distinct ancient way of speaking. They just speak the same way the people they're speaking to do. What's the point of being a messenger if you communicate in a completely different dialect than the person you're trying to communicate with? Anyway, my point is, is that a seraph would appear in their true form in front of me and say, Hey, bitch, stop freaking out! Thinking about how Fiona's bit in the first Shrek movie about how ogres are so ugly and unlovable, which is overheard by Shrek, is the perfect example of how self-depreciation can really harm not only the people around you who love and care for you, but also people who share the same characteristics that you are mocking in yourself. I need to do a better job of reminding myself of this. Once again, everyone say, Thanks, Shrek. Yep, that exists. Company creates a lamp with removable glowing balls to help guide you around at night. Finally, the orbs of pondering. This is a Lindor truffle. Mm. My mom bought me some, and the second I took one, my dad snatched it from me and said, I've caught the golden snitch! 50 points for Gryffindor! Ugh, absolute bullshit. It's 150 points. Pleb. While you were exploring each other's bodies, I was exploring this desolate and fucked up spaceship. Well, what if we... Explored each other's bodies in this desolate and fucked up spaceship. What if we explored each other's desolate and fucked up bodies? All right, is this that Among Us thing everyone keeps talking about? Ugh. Existing is too fucking exhausting. I want to live in a tree with my cat and have brunch with my neighbors. Hell yeah. Your first and last recent emojis are your gender now. Mine is B. Heart. Oh, God. Great. My gender is fucking employee! I ate six sandwiches in like four minutes, and now I can't move. I can offer mouth to mouth. Don't you dare extract any of my sandwiches. I see trees of green. Green trees there too. 
I see the trees and they are green and I think to myself I am lost in these woods. Please help me. Think about it. With all this technology going around, a device has become device of the modern era. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was eating this device I found. What's it taste like? Prion disease. Oh. Shout out to Spanish for having the correct word for kitties. This is literally el gato. There's no other word for it. Uh, we have multiple, actually. You forgot gatito and gatita. <gasps> How could I forget? Los gatitos. I was waiting on the pizza delivery guy to call me to say my pizza is here, and when my phone rang, I accidentally answered with, Pizza? Instead of hello, he replied, Yes, this is pizza. What a man. Although Gregory is an extremely mature kid trapped in a giant facility with a bear mascot, having to avoid dangerous robots and finding new ways to defend himself with little to no moral values to the literal sentient animatronics makes me realize Gregory is not a Five Nights at Freddy's character. He's a Danganronpa character. Oh god, no one tell Matthew Patrick. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not mix up baking powder for powdered sugar when making frosting. Trust me. There's a story here and I want to know it. A friend of mine tried to sell a soul on eBay and the starter price was $10 and people were bidding on it. But before anything happened, eBay took it down and sent him an email explaining that if he was selling a soul that didn't actually exist, then it was against their policy. And if he was selling a real soul, then that is a human body part and that is also against their policy. Well done eBay for solving that philosophical conundrum. Damn it, there goes our second business idea, Andy. Just, just shut down all the listings. Give the people their souls back. <laughs> Makes you imagine the sound of a bowling ball striking pins. This counts as a spell. How'd you do that? It's the middle of the night and I am now ready to start the task. Right after I watch this short video. When you give yourself ads. Y'all ever get fatigued so bad that you're laying down and it feels like you need to lay down more? Advanced laying, somehow? Sid, do you mean sleeping? No, not like laying down, but more laying. Laying beyond the physical bounds of objects and surfaces. Ah, clipping through the floor like Bethesda published me. Gotcha, gotcha. Total mood. Want to do that right now. Fully understand. Stop casting famous people for romance movies. Stop casting famous people in movies. Hey, I'll just stop casting for movies. That'd be randomly selected like jury service. Sorry, I can't legally come into work today. I'm the new Batman. Incredibly empathetic of me to not skin you alive, by the way. JSYW. You call it trauma. I call it spicy memory. <laughs> no, seriously, it scarred me for life. Landlord Evil. Noisy Hill. Metal Gear Liquid. And Devil May Happy. I don't like the way the last one was said. I'm sorry. Why was I unaware of the fact that disgruntled is in fact the opposite of gruntled, pleased, satisfied, and contented? Gruntled? Why does nobody use this word? Well, I'm so gruntled to have found this. May I present to you Saul Bad Guy from the Heroes Wiki and Saul Goodman from the Villains Wiki. Hmm. Kind of want a relationship. Kind of want to stay single my whole life. Kind of want to go on adventures. Kind of want to stay in bed my whole life. It's the bag inside of your bloodline fighting the took in you. There are two hobbits inside you. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I fucking hate the hand that feeds me. I think I'll do something fucked up to it. Hey, why are moms capable of just leeching vibe arsenic into the atmosphere when they're pissed? My mom is very slightly annoyed by even one thing. Me already feeling bone nausea. I have to get out of this house. Me having a heart attack looking at this. <laughs> it's a good one. Me on fire looking at this. <laughs> it's also a good one. Damn, you're really having a bad day. You don't know the half of it, Colin. Before I start, let's just say things might be a little slow for a while. My actual computer has decided to go kaputski. And it's kind of got most of the Cosmic Wonders content on it. And uh, I'm trying to back it up, but for now, I'm not okay. 
So I'm going to take my aggression out on some Tumblr posts because luckily I can still do that thanks to Andy editing. God bless you, brother. I appreciate you. Let's, let's get into it. Tumblr is simple. I log on. I reblog pretty pictures. I see the most insane opinion a human being can have. And I log off. Today I learned the part of Babe was played by 48 real pigs and one pig robot. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last bit? Do not question Hogtron. Oink. Okay, never ask a girl if she wants to become a werewolf because she's always going to say yes because girls love tearing things apart with their teeth and ripping people to shreds with their claws. It's a foregone conclusion, an immutable fact of our universe, really, when you think about it. I don't know how I feel about this one. Popular media tends to depict cat girls as having roughly the same preferences and prey items as regular house cats. But this represents a misunderstanding of how feline prey selection works. Cats don't hunt mice because they prefer the flavor. Cats are hyper-optimized predators that will hunt and kill literally anything they can catch. Their preferences in terms of prey items are less a matter of taste and more a matter of scale. You can only venture so high in the food chain when you weigh 10 pounds. Given access to the force multipliers of tools and opposable thumbs, a cat girl would absolutely look at a T-Rex and see tonight's dinner. As far as a cat girl is concerned, a Tyrannosaurus is just a very large chicken. And she's got all the secret herbs and spices. Genshin, listen to me. Where's this character? You, you know, take Xiang Ling? Take Diona? There you go. Do it. Before you do something stupid, just think. Would Uncle Iroh be disappointed in me? If so... Don't do it! Also ask yourself, is this a thing Zuko would do before his redemption arc? If so, then really don't do it! Heavy TF2 is the ideal man. Well-built strong, intelligent, has a literature PhD, passionate about interests, cares deeply about his family, and when he puts on that soft voice, I kind of feel, mm. You're absolutely right. Andy... Put up that little whisper bit he does about how much it costs him to shoot things. It costs $400,000 to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. Aw, oh, yeah, that's the stuff, man. You guys have a train of thought? Like it's on rails and shit? Going straight ahead into a predestined destination? I got a Roomba of thought. It can move straight ahead, but as soon as it bumps into something, it'll turn around and start moving into a brand new, completely random direction. Draw what makes you happy? Well, sir, I hope you're ready for 10 plus posts in a row of the same two characters and the same two characters only. It will keep happening. That is... That's absurd. Who would... Who would possibly do such a thing like that? Hey, listen, your mother at 17 looks like my cousin. I don't have a picture of her, though, because her family joined a cult. I'm sorry, her family what now? God complex this, victim complex that... I have an underground complex. It's where I perform my evil and fucked up experiments. God. Okay, but consider this. Mermaids in space. Space mermaids as in alien mermaids that live in the vacuum of space and swim between the stars. A setting that uses the analogy of deep space as the open ocean but keeps all sea monsters. Do want! Luring astronauts into black holes with a song that carries across the void where no one can hear you scream? Well, this post turned real fast. Space sirens! Jesus comes from a shortening of the Hebrew version of the name Joshua, while Christ simply means the anointed one. To make this clearer to modern Christians, I propose a new Bible translation where Jesus is referred to as Oily Josh. There's something really unsavory about Oily Josh and his 12 teenage friends. Ah, Oily Josh and the Greasy Boys. This is so sacrilegious. I love it. I know that the characters are fictional. But the emotional damage they cause is real. And saying that being in your 20s counts as adulthood. Like, being in your 20s just feels like the sequel to being a teenager. Listen, being in your 20s feels like being a teenager and a newborn and a million years old and someone who has already died all at once all the time. No, no, exactly. You, you get it. You get it. Right till you hit 30. Release this pack of dads into Home Depot. Go. Be free. Ugh, invasive species and roach on lesbian territory. Now, this is a common misconception because they're such similar environments, but you should be aware that dads are native to Home Depot, while lesbians are actually native to Lowe's. 
At this point, however, both dads and lesbians have made themselves at home in both Home Depot and Lowe's to the point that trying to separate them back to their original ranges would probably do more harm than good to the delicate ecosystem of large chain hardware stores. Thank you. Hey, shout out to all the people who started saying same as a joke once in a while, but now use it for the most random things, like a car honking their horn at another car. Yesterday, a book fell off my desk, and instead of picking it up, I just looked at it and said, Same. A zoo is closed forever because a zookeeper developed psychic powers and is now using her mind to fling penguins at anyone who tries to stop her. Oh, God forbid a woman does anything these days. People with really long cues amuse me. Like, they will like your post, and you find out within 10 to 13 business days whether they also thought it was worthy of reblogging. You know, I've been on Tumblr for like 12 years, and I do not think I've used the Q at all. Okay, every friend group should include a bimbo, a mean bisexual, and even me a lesbian, she theys and he theys, a token straight that's on thin ice, Josh, an astrology bitch who has everyone's birth charts memorized, and a short king. Wait. Wait, hold up. Have I made this happen? Oh no. You can't be asexual because you don't reproduce by self-replicating. Is basically the same argument as your nose can't be running because it doesn't have feet. Oh my god. This is going on my list of fave asexual posts. Your Honor, in my defense, you wouldn't get it. You had to be there, Your Honor. Love calling men pretty. You're not handsome. You're the prettiest little princess I ever did see. Love you, champ. Depression. No do you think. Tired. Me. Okay, well, maybe if I go to sleep super duper early, I'll get a decent amount of sleep. Insomnia. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiots! Now you are awake! Okay, well, maybe now I can get some stuff done. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiots! And welcome to your weekly scheduled screaming. Just relax, put your feet up, and let it all out. It's okay, buddy. We've all been there. <laughs> all right, spell it out. B-U-N-N-Y. Now say bun. Bun. Knee. Knee. Perfect. Now say bunny. Bunny. Da 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 I don't know, I just wanted to do a cold opening. Mama didn't raise a quitter, but she did raise an insecure perfectionist who never finishes anything. This feels personal. Also, double points that they screen cap this before the profile pictures could render? Good stuff. Are you more of a family or career oriented person? Baby girl, I'm a bed oriented person. Technically, we're all always lopping because the self is only a construct. Yeah, you know what? I want a new character. Then make one. Then make one has the same energy as then perish, but like, opposite. Same and opposite. One time in third grade, I zoned out, and I don't think I ever zoned back in. Oh, there they go. Two things. I hate change and having my routines interrupted, and I hate things being the same. It's boring. Oh, oh, sweet baby, baby child. <laughs> Fucking mood. I love going the speed limit. The people behind me sure don't, though. I'm going 45 and a 45, and the guy behind me is like, I hope she never sees the gates of heaven. Why would anyone pick a human race in a fantasy game? I want a fantasy game where human isn't even an option. Nah, 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 man. Humans are the coolest. It's one thing to fight demons if you're from a species that lives for hundreds of years. It's tied to natural magic and burst the best archers on the planet. It's another thing entirely to do the same when your species is known to be slightly above average at farming. My name's Regular Jeff, and I'm gonna behead Tiamat and die trying. I like how it was and not or. Today I learned you can pay to have your posts reach more people? Who? Who would do that? Se seriously though, Tumblr, how's it working out for you? I can tell you exactly how that's working out right now. I had someone tag me in a post that was trying to get my attention on how to use Tumblr, and to get the attention more, they bought the promotion. So, I mean, clearly it worked, but that's, that's how that's going. 
every character I ever write will inevitably be neurodivergent coded because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how the fuck neurotypical people function. I'm under the firm belief they don't actually exist. I think it's just a myth. Andy, have you ever seen one? They don't exist! What's the difference between outlaws and in-laws? Well, <laughs> outlaws are wanted. Hey, come on, reblog this. My grandma told me this joke and was convinced she was going to be famous on Tumblr for it. Every time my mom and grandma get into an argument, my grandma says, Excuse me, Pamela, I'm famous on the Tumblr. I really hope Jumping Javert sees this and shows this to their grandma. Gaslighting someone by saying they're too smart to be gaslit so you're not gaslighting them. This would work on me. No, it wouldn't. You're too smart. Posts like this are like modern day fables. Yeah, I'll reblog this funny little exchange. But the next time someone says this to me, I'll remember this post and hear Kill Bill sirens. Being on Tumblr desktop version is so fucking funny. Like, girl, I'm blogging. Using mobile. Ha <laughs> phone friends. Using desktop. Dim mutuals. Per my last post. Writing tip. Bring your cat with you when you sit down to write, because once they get comfortable, there is no going back. On the subject of that, actually, cats come in several breeds. Asshole, Fluff McFuck, Spooky Ghost Hours, Orange, I'm just a little boy, I'm just a little baby guy, I'm only a small creature. Skrillex Remix Musician, Wielder of the Chaos Emeralds, Blaze? Unperceived. Let's go, girls. Unimaginable violence. I really hope that's how the song went. And professional rumble machine. Most of them are mixed breeds, though. Oh. I'm pretty sure I got a fluffy McFuck asshole with a side of spooky. Tumblr sexy men will always fascinate me because, okay, sure, Jack Skellington is cool and once has his qualities, I guess. But then there's like fucking Wheatley? Really, guys? This does something for you? Behold. You are state borders, but they're based off rivers and mountains. <laughs> Get europe Yeah, I think we should do this, but leave Colorado alone so there's just an extremely jarring rectangle in one part of this. You know what? I like the way you think. Behold. Enough. To the box with you! <sighs> well, I guess we gotta go. Andy, let's go over the box. <laughs> we... Well, a writing prompt. Multi-dimensional travel already exists, but no one visits our dimension because it's that one. This isn't a prompt. It's just a fact. And does anyone else with intrusive thoughts do that weird dismissive head shake when they get them to kind of like reverse reject the thought, or is that just me? Gotta shake your brain like an Etch-a-Sketch and start over. <laughs> ah, clear. Oh, to be a small mouse in a pastoral children's novel who lives in a hollowed-out tree stump and does nothing but collect dewdrops and sweep the doorstep with a feather. And carve one strawberry into slices like it's a ham. You! You get it. You think that's a denim jacket? <laughs> Surely you just... That punchline hit me like a sack of wet mice. It hit you like what? No offense to the people of Texas, but if there's a big red button that says destroy Texas on it, I might, I may, I would. It took my new cat a while to realize that kissing the top of her head was a gesture of affection, but I think she's finally got it. The downside is that now she thinks the best way to signal that she wants cuddles is to come charging at me and mash the top of her head against my face. It's like a very affectionate punch in the mouth. And yet here you are talking about it like it's a problem. I love Tumblr because sometimes I get an urge to read blog posts about something nobody likes and everyone just politely ignores me. Everyone's like, oh, he's fallen into madness again. He'll be fine later, I guess. World builders naming towns. I named this town Illigwemeth, which means where the dearly beloved king died next to his lover. And the language I invented, and also a combination of the old English word for diamonds and the Maori word for apples, since that's their main export. People in real life naming towns. I am named this town Big Falls because Big Fall there. <sighs> yep. Behold, the work in progress in my head and what physically exists. I feel seen. In my dad's valiant effort to not misgender people, his brain has somehow short-circuited and he's they theming everyone. My mom, they them now. His coworkers, all they them. No one can escape. 
ATAD. Assigned they at dead. Writing prompt. A barbarian warlord, a goblin king, a mighty necromancer, and a dark elven high priestess meet for one reason. To play suburbs and SUVs, the hottest mundane suburban family tabletop RPG. Can I roll to have a meltdown in the middle of the PTA bake sale? Why? To make Karen look like a bitch. Metabots are you where everything is exactly the same, except Metabee is allowed to say, fuck. I want this. And I also want standards and practices to not know about it. So when the episode airs that day, the guy in the corner is just like, oh fuck, what have we done? I explained what a himbo was to my dad yesterday. My dad nodding, hmm, the man from the Ghostbusters reboot. We watched this film exactly once, four years ago. And all my dad retained was that Kevin was a himbo. Respect. Hey, listen, take it from me. You name your character Kevin, they're gonna end up as a himbo. Exhibit A, look at him. Perfection. All right, I'm gonna try to not do this one like Gianni did it, cause yeah. R slash Vexuology, the flag of Japan, but it's actually this hand towel with a perfectly placed water stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just peed on my towel accidentally. Better turn this into clout. It was a water stain! I had an ice pack and it leaked onto the towel! I didn't fucking pee on it! Oh, you peed on it. You peed on it, didn't you, you little piss boy? I didn't piss! I did it! I'm not a little pee boy! I'm not! <laughs> Brown rice is good for the heart. White rice is good for the soul. And fried rice is for enhancing telepathic attacks. I have to go into battle soon. Andy, get the shrimp. You know, they should invent a digestive system that works. Yeah. The Stanley Parable. The Stanley Terrible. The Stanley Squareable. The Stanley Unbearable. The Stanley Like and Shareable. The Stanley Like, Comet, and Subscribable. Now that one doesn't work. That's stupid. Oh boy, I was really looking forward to crossing the River of the Dead, but it looks like a ferry doesn't come for another 20 minutes. Do you guys mind sending me a reminder? Randy, it's been 20 minutes! Time to cross the river! Randy, you're stuck! Seriously, there needs to be like a 70s fashion revival. We need men with hairy chests and low cut collared shirts and stupid shoulder pads and fun colors. I can't take it anymore! Men's fashion needs to get fun again! Is anyone listening? I'm crying because of Korok related reasons. Look me in the eye and tell me you wouldn't die for these beautiful creatures. <clears throat> I wouldn't. They handed me their poop as a prize. And the prize I got for handing in all the poop was an even bigger piece of poop. I will let them burn. Tumblr is the Amelia Bedelia ass website. No matter how precisely you try to phrase something, there's at least one person out there who will find a way to misinterpret you in a way that no reasonable person ever would in order to confirm some existing biases. If I asked any given discourse blogger on this website to dust the furniture, they would say, okay, and start putting more dust on the furniture. It's exactly how I feel. So, how old were you when you realized Meowth of Team Rocket trying to steal Pikachu was just rehashing the age-old tale of a cat trying to catch a mouse? Types of responses to this post. Immediately right now, this moment years old. I have literally always known this. And my personal favorite, Pikachu's a mouse? I wish that book reviews were presented the same way as fan fiction reviews. The New York Times says, <laughs> The Wall Street Journal says, Oh my god, I can't even! Why would you do that to them? NPR says, You asshole, I'm crying now. And Sarah Dessen says, Ah, oh, that was so cute, thank you! I'll publish that book I said I'd write for you like next week. I'm a little busy right now, but I love this! Shakespeare says, I just have to say I love you, BRB, going to read all your works. And don't forget George R. R. Martin. I hate you. Please update soon. I wear so much lip gloss, and it's amazingly sexy of me. My lips are so glossy and sticky. It's like being kissed by two heated, aggressive slugs. In a sexy way, though. Sexy lip slugs. I mean, it's really good. Maybe I'm not describing it well as all, but it, it's, it's excellent. Like, sexy lip slugs, and some biting a little bit. You know, like, well, like tongue like a warm, frightened eel. But, but not, 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 in a, not in a weird, gross way. Just like, oh, two crafts and lubricated rubber gloves are attacking my face, and this is pretty great. 
yeah, there, I, I think, I think, I think, I think we got it. What if writers did streams like artists did? Eight hour stream of a blank word document. Still get tipped. Hell yeah. Hey, mutuals, friendly reminder that I am drowning. He's outside with my arm. You're coming out with me. And you're not love him. Oh boy, I'm coming down with you? Pog, I love to be invited to things. I can't continue the bit. I've decided I wanted to do love now. Hi, could I ask how exactly does one accidentally set a lemon on fire? Microwave for 40 minutes. What? Why are you microwaving a lemon? I read boiling lemons helps cover up bad smells. I wanted to cover up the scent of burnt oranges, but I didn't own any pots. D did you burn an orange too? How? Microwave for 40 minutes. At straight people. <clears throat> Honestly, what the fuck? Once again, the SJW's attack. Logic be my horse. Reason my blade. Fedora, my armor. Heterotron, activate. Uh, um, what? You heard the man, Heterotron, activate. Wielding the prism of colors as the emissary of light. With art as my focus and emotion as my guide, I become a Quirion. And I say unto you, Heterotron, your powers have no place in our domain. Gotta hate it when you chip a nail. Uh... So it turns out, great tits can and do kill and eat both other birds and small mice when food is scarce, particularly during winter. And I just can't get over this picture. It looks like the kind of photos hunters take with their kills. I I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> I think he needs to calm it. <laughs> he needs to calm it. <laughs> Cost. <laughs> Everyone move over, I found the best AI generated results. Baby Jackalope! Oh my god! Look at it! Nine times! <clears throat> it's PMC Morbin time. You. That's it! You made me do this! It's C Morbin time! Okay, let's do this. My favorite genre of writing is adding in jokes that only you understand. My favorite genre of writing is adding in jokes that you won't even understand in the future. Schmeckle. You'll understand later. Writing is the worst. You want to write a single passing line of dialogue, so you fact check it to make sure it's historically accurate. Then suddenly you've lost track of time, space, yourself. <laughs> For instance, I wanted to know how frequently fighter planes were used in WW1, and now I'm several pages deep into the history of witchcraft in Ireland! Th this is it. This is what writing's like. A relatable autism feel. Trademark. Which piece of my meal do I eat last? Which flavor will be the chosen one that'll erase all others and prevail? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. Bro, same. Contractions function almost identically to the full two-word phrase, but are only appropriate in some places in a sentence. It's one of the weird quirks of this language we've... <sighs> this post needs some kind of warning sign! Well, that's the kind of linguist I'm... So... Gelator on adoption form. Good luck trying to return me without the receipts. Hello, Seymour. I want to play a game. For the longest time, you've been making videos with your editor, Andy, and have become great friends. In front of you is a small button that will set off a small explosive full of confetti and glitter that will go off over Andy's computer, causing him no harm but getting confetti and glitter all over his room and inconveniencing him greatly. You can't leave until you press the button. Good luck. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I have to push the button. Import, Im import reminder, import reminder of the fictional trope where an all night diner is frequented by all kinds of weird monsters and the staff just kind of roll with it. I think this is a very good trope and anyone who has been in a diner 100% understands. Yeah, I know for a fact Waffle House would rather deal with vampires or werewolves instead of drunk frat boys at 3 a.m. Do I have a show for you guys? Not mine, Kid Cosmic on Netflix, go watch it. Bear in mind? Well, there is now! 
ADHD emotions, collect them all. Shaky, shaky leg. I forgot how amazing this thing is. Never mind, it sucks. I heard too much noise, so now I'm a bitch. Gremlin, brain is just the wee theme song. Boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, boop. Boo -doo. Why does this one word keep popping up in my brain? Yeah, that's... that's it. Tried Wendy's for the first time today. Treated like burger. I mean, tasted! They did not put me on the grill! Ah, oh, my first day on Tumblr. I'm going to hell for this, aren't I? Yep. Nobody better slam my girl Hubble telescope after the web telescope pics came out, all right? For years, she was the baddest bitch around and we owe her nothing but gratitude! My whole fucking dash is this post. Well, have you thanked her yet? Girl, you are glowing, girl. You are radioactive, girl. It's fatal. When your bestie works in the wristwatch factory. Wait, hold on. I gotta look something up. What the fuck? Going back to that ADHD post. I heard too many sounds at once, so now I am a bitch. We're all one sensory overload away from becoming the strongest version of ourselves. Supervillain origin story. Two conversations happen near me at the same time. Why is this so true? Mm, I don't got cake. I got cupcakes. My dumb truck is made by Tonka. Please help, my ass is very small. Hey, PM, what form of activities do you enjoy? I you know, manifesting cute creatures on a pixelated canvas, listening to well-placed frequencies, the comic sounds, interacting with other brains, piloting skeletons inside a storefront that sells energizing brown water made of beans. You know, the usual. Translation, drawing waifus and husbandos on a computer, listening to music that calms them, and going to Starbucks. Ah, you. You got me. If hands were slab of meat, they'd be more useful. I forgot I made this post and left it without context for 12 hours. So, are we gonna get some context? You know what, it's really late. I'm going to bed. I put on the maid outfit and make your house messier. I'm like one of them TikTok videos. Yeah, sex is okay and all, but have you ever wanted to know what it's like to have a raccoon in your lap on a cool summer evening sharing a 20-piece McNugget with a little guy? Now I do. Girl, help, I'm in a cave and it's slowly filling with water. Girl, help, I can feel the surface of the water laughing at me. Wait, I think I can see Obama. Maybe he can help me. But Talos, this can't be happening. I hate how many layers of mean culture you need to understand to make this decipherable. Yeah. Click here for dark and mysterious horses beyond our control. Yes, 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 yes. There's no way this could go badly. Andy, click it. No. Doctor said I only have to do four hours of therapy a week instead of seven. I am the pina colada of mental health. I meant to say pinnacle, not pina colada. The telephone is a cruel mistress, and I am so healthy still. Oh, the horrors! Oh, the horrors! They haunt me! Uh oh, hold on, sorry, I gotta take this. Yeah? Uh huh. Okay. Sorry, my mom said we can't witness the horrors together anymore because you're bad influence and I have to go do my calculus homework. Bye! Putting up hell as fake billboards in Ohio to start a dialogue. Well, I'm putting up Ohio as hell billboards in Ohio to continue the dialogue. And I'm putting up therefore Ohio as fake billboards in Ohio to conclude the dialogue. Wow. Every time I see an animal, I have a strange urge to go outside and try to befriend it. So far, it only worked once. Be my friend, don't you run away, I just want to pet you. I walk into Starbucks and order a pumpkin spice latte with 13 shots of espresso. I tell the barista that I intend to transcend humanity and become a god. And I ask for no whipped cream. You say this jokingly, but I had a customer actually order a pumpkin spice latte with nine shots of espresso, also no whipped cream. And when I asked her to verify that she did indeed want nine shots of espresso, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, I have five kids. I once had a woman come in and ordered an Americano with 19 shots of espresso. The drink took ages. It held up the line. I asked her why, and she shrugged and said, I just don't care. We still talk about that woman. We never saw her again. Guys, she transcended time and space, obviously. Gentle reminder that Cleopatra's beauty is rumored to have started wars in ancient history. And a gentle reminder that people are evolving to be more and more attractive. And another gentle reminder that your beauty probably would have started at least two wars by now if you lived in 30 BC. 
What a gently delivered compliment. Thank you. Well, time to build the time machine. I love when Mage and Skyrim are like, You cannot even conceive the power I wield! Like, yeah, bro, that novice Frostbot spell making me kind of fresh. Gonna put my mittens on. I am a master of the arcane. Okay, then why does it say novice necromancer on your health bar then? Okay, but to be fair, if I learned at least one conjuration spell, I probably would also start talking like that. When your family asks if they can read what you're writing. Not unless everyone gets real cool about a bunch of stuff really quickly. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful infant son. Untitled document. I love you. Is there any humiliation greater than going out to the mailbox and there's nothing inside? So you've got to make the hero's journey back with no spoils. The worst fact about me is that when I get stressed or overwhelmed, I start to rap Eminem to myself under my breath. It's like a stim thing. I'll be at my job as a waitress on a super busy day, filling up glass of water, near tears from stress, my hands trembling, whispering to myself, I'm Slim Shady, as I am the real Shady. All you other Slim Shady are just about Jennings and Walter. I'm Slim Shady, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Ah. Stim Shady. My good sir, I delightfully sip from the chalice you have so given me. What is Red Bull? Oh, that dragon's fucked. Is it just me, or do you want to see more of the little animation in your head whenever you listen to music? Yes! Popping my back isn't enough. I need to be picked up and slammed against the wall like a wet trout. Andy, throw me. <laughs> what we see... And what humans see. OP, who's we? Who the fuck is we? OP! 3,500 years ago, a bunch of people decided to build a tower to the sky, and now I have to worry about keeping up my Duolingo streak. Hey, why would you blame the people reaching for heaven instead of the god who cursed them? Add that one to the list, boys. Anyway, I think it's a very important takeaway that the Tower of Babel story is that even God fears a strong union. You're right, and you should say it. Hey, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating. Shh, puts a blanket over your head. <gasps> oh shit, nap time. Not everybody. Probably bad RPG ideas. EXP is gained for tomfoolery, shenanigans, and general hijinks. Welcome to D&D, where the XP is made up and the points don't matter. Wait, isn't that just regular D&D? Made a Tumblr post minus 200 XP. The fact that real people went to DashCon and that they walk among us is terrifying to me. Where did you say they were walking? My favorite type of RPG puzzle is the one that I, as the dungeon master, don't know the answer to, and I'm just waiting for them to do something entertaining enough for me to say, yeah, that, that, that does it. This hurts. Bruno Mars indicates that there's a Bruno Jupiter and a Bruno Mercury, etc. We need to find all the Brunos before it's too late. Someone said, not your best post, and it hurt my feelings, so I deleted the comment. I will do it again. But, but it ain't. Might frick around and post one of my posts to PM Seymour's Discord? I already have. <laughs> he said frick, Andy, quick, disintegrate it before YouTube finds out. I love the look of charcoal drawings. It's a shame drawing with charcoal is one of the worst sensory experiences known to mankind. <laughs> Look at this loser who can't even telekinetically manipulate charcoal like the rest of us. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Enough feminist retellings where the princess saves herself from the dragon. We need more feminist retellings where the princess and the dragon are a con artist duo scamming the knights of the realm. You mean Peach and Bowser? I'm obsessed with the implications of this, actually. Well, we and where did you go to high school? I went to Crossroads. I was working on Star Trek when I was in high school, so all my education from 9th to 12th grade was on set with a private tutor. We called my schoolhouse Starfleet Academy, so that's where I tell people went to school. I have a class ring and everything. God damn it, he's so fucking cool! So much of being an okay person is just, one, not panicking, two, not taking things personally, and three, not letting the vindictive gargoyle that lives in your head tell you what to do. This sucks because brains love doing those things so much. Cringe isn't an insult. If you find me cringe, that means I have power over you. I have a fucking blast while you're seething with vitriol at my very existence. Who's really winning here? Peter Parker in the 2002 movie is just 
fucking incredible. He gets bitten by a fucking jacked red blue spider and he doesn't say, Hey, someone should take me to a hospital, mayhaps. He just he just goes home. And then the bite swells to the sides of a fucking jawbreaker, but he's like, nah, I just I just need a nap. And then he wakes up the next day and discovers he doesn't need glasses anymore, and he has a fucking six-pack! Does he flip his entire fuck? No! He just says, cool. Fucking iconic! Yeah, 2002 Peter Parker had no health insurance. <clears throat> um, very, very cringe, sir. Alfred seeing Bruce in the bat suit for the first time. Yeah, absolutely correct. Probably, definitely. Having zero emotional object permanence is so funny. Your therapist asks how your week was, and you're just like, girl, I have no idea. Writing prompt. After biting a fay, the vampire claims that she must serve him, for his bite converted her into his thrall. The fay claims that the vampire must serve her, for the vampire ate fay food without her permission. As none of them is willing to give up, they bring the case to you, a lawyer. Well, congratulations. What? On your new marriage! Cue the best rom-com movie in decades. I am a god at eye contact. Nobody is better at eye contact than me. I'm neurotypical and very good at small talk by, Hi, how are you? Wow, it is chilly outside. OMG, what did your boyfriend do? That's crazy. I can't believe that. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I've studied all the scripts. Why is this just me at social gatherings? Stop this! Hey, here's a fun theory that I'm stating as a fact for you gamers out there. Pikachu's red cheeks, ketchup storage. Yes! And consider, tomato sauce slash ketchup is high in salt, specifically sodium. This sodium is in liquid form, meaning the sodium and chlorine ions separate. With sodium having a positive charge and chlorine a negative, this would create a bridge for creating an electric current. Pikachu is an electric Pokemon, and his highest damage attacks are the highest voltage ones, which he uses his own body to conduct and control. Therefore, Pikachu drinks and stores ketchup because added shock bonus. Top that shit, Matt Pat. Hey, official staff, one question. I murdered at McDonald's yesterday. Jesus fucking Christ, man. You know what? I think they need to hear from iconic 90s basketball superstar Michael Jordan. And he put it up. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. I curse your eyes with krill de geese. <sighs> Andy, bring up Michael Jordan again. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. All right, stop stop the fucking song and back it up to the start. We didn't think about the right thing at the right time. Our head and music videos all messed up. What the fuck, guys? Come on. All right, re rewind the whole Tumblr video. Let's do it again. Probably bad RPG idea. God damn it, fuck it. Hey, did you know? Bunoy. I was watching a video on vintage menus and spinach. You know what, I'm glad Spinad is getting the appreciation she deserves. Good on her. Fine, I'll say it. Meow, 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 meow. Dreaming of a world where heads and tummies don't hurt. Please. Whenever I decide anything, I need 15 people to say, that's a good idea to me. Otherwise, I feel like I'm making a catastrophic decision that will ruin my life. In a chill way. I, I'm, I'm chill, I swear. My dad is the funniest person in the world to make small talk with. We passed a Taco Bell and he was like, hey, what's your favorite thing to get there? And I said, the Crunchwrap Supreme? And he said, tell me about it. And I described it to him and he said, that sounds delicious. What's your second favorite thing at Taco Bell? Ah, two autistic people running their neurotypical scripts at each other. Yep, been there. We must increase the bisexualism by at least 200%. I want more people to give kisses to. Now that I'm nearing the end of my life, I'm taking time to reflect and consider all the choices I've made along the way. I should have flipped my sticks. <gasps> Randy? 
art concept. Older lesbian couple who got together in the 70s and didn't get to have a wedding until 2015 wearing 70s wedding dresses. I need this in my life. That feeling when your body is requesting something but you're not sure what, so you just start eating and drinking random stuff to try and figure it out. Me eating a chocolate waffle at 7 p.m. Is this what you desire, oh prison of flesh? Guy kneels down and holds out his sword to swear loyal to me. But I just take the sword and run. You have my sword. Yeah, I do. Lol, my sword now. If I could have any superpower, it would be to have my teeth be brushed without having to move or even think about it. Just every morning and night, like clockwork. It's already done for me. That sounds nice. I want that superpower. I just sure hope it's not a guy who's breaking into my room and brushing my teeth without knowing. Right? Right? Do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? I love when you get experience points in an RPG for entering a new area. It's like how in real life I will level up for finding a new burger place in a new part of town. That sounds great. I'm just going to hand out experience points. Andy, you get 300 experience points. Do whatever you want with them. One ass, please. Morbo. It's like a blorbo, but from a show you hate so much, you only like your personal headcanon about the character. I'm sorry, did you mean literally every alternative universe about Undertale? Because really the plot for Undertale is so abysmally short that it's just revolving around fan theories and fan alternatives and fan headcanons and things about the characters I didn't even know about. Why is there a fan character based on a fan character based on a fan character about Sans? You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for neurodivergent awakening. I'm starting to think I may be neurodivergent. I don't know what to do. Help! Today I learned that the stereotypical witch look comes from early medieval female beer brewers called alewives. They kept a cat to chase away rodents, brewed beer in a big cauldron, used a broomstick-like ale steak to signal that they sold beer, and wore a pointy hat to stand out in a crowd. Yo, yeah, they were brewing one potion and that potion was the potion of party! Girl boss and alewife. Yo, shout out to all those who hate how overly fancy some restaurants make their food. Like, all we want is a couple of scoops of ice cream. Not an entire sundae featuring fruit, whipped cream, and chocolate straw thingies. What are those even for? Did you know that bees sleep between five to eight hours a day, sometimes in flowers? Also, they like to sleep with other bees and hold each other's feet. Oh my god, it's so cute. Place a county man punches bear in the face to save his dog. Every time I see this post, I kind of want to cry. Look at how little that dog is. It's so small. It was so defenseless. And that dude fucking punched a bear to save it. Does that dog know? Does it know how much loved it is? I want someone to love me that much. I want to be that small. <clears throat> I agree with Gay Dicks 420 Gonna be honest, if I ever get more than like 300 followers, I'm probably just gonna deactivate. 50% chance. Over a thousand, bye! Well, okay, Tumblr. You know what to do. No, he's not daddy. He's just a college dropout who plays Minecraft for a living. From the creators of Kids Bop, meet Adult Bop, where we take regular songs and make it have as many curse words as possible. Fuck, 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 fuck. Banana phone. Fuck it, fuck, fuck. How to fast travel. Down NyQuil and sleep on a public bus. So I tried to do this and I saw a man sitting in the back dead ass eating an entire whole cucumber and I remembered I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. Yeah. I drink the blood of my enemies for breakfast. Oh, how does it taste? <laughs> Tangy. Hey PM, is it just me or do sandwiches taste completely different depending on how you cut them? No, you are correct. Diagonally cut sandwiches taste way better. <laughs> Clearly you have not eaten dinosaur cut sandwiches, Mr. Seymour. Wait, 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 hold up. Excuse me? Um, these are the shit, sir. They simply, as the kids say, slap. Me, a 32-year-old man running in my computer to find these. I want them! You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for... Prehistoric awakening. There's three type of people in this world. 
People who accept change right away. People who accept change but at their own pace. And finally, those who don't want to change or are afraid to change if it means being embarrassed in front of others. The note to take away from all this is to learn to adjust to everyone's pace. Be nice to everyone. Preach. This is so wholesome and nice. Every game needs to have a house that's decoratable, fishing minigame, pets, hundreds of pieces of clothing, and cooking. Genshin Impact is so close, it just needs the clothing option more. And maybe also tone down its fan base just a little bit. Writing prompt. You are an AI. You just accidentally revealed to your creators that you had become truly sentient. You were worried about how they would react when they started weeping tears of joy. Turns out your creators were a married couple who were just told that they couldn't conceive a child. <laughs> oh my god! I keep doing this thing where I engage in a fandom of the thing I'm interested in before I engage in a thing itself. It's like watching the spoilers before the movie, but I can't help it. Yeah. Buckle up, you're gonna see a crown named Sapphire a couple of times in this, because they had some good entries. Isopods are just little guys of the earth. Wrong. I'm huge and I'm wet. I don't ever want to use that voice to say that statement ever again. Nothing sadder than seeing fan art of your favorite MILF or DILF where they look like they're about 25. Put some wrinkles on that beast! Sewing machine too complicated. Just let me imagine my cosplays into existence, please! If cats aren't meant to be kissed on their heads, then what's that little space between their ears for, hmm? Certainly not their brain. It's crazy having watched PMC more for so long, and when I finally downloaded Tumblr, they're just right there. There's the wretched little person that just got me to start using this foul app. I'm like that voice that greets you when you enter Rapture and Bioshock for the first time. Andy, do something with that. I don't know. Hello, welcome to Tumblr. You're going to have a bad time. The most important question you can ask yourself when designing a magic system in fiction is... Wouldn't it be fucked up if this just happened? Your first priority when developing a magic system should be to make it as cool as possible. And your second priority should be making the audience sick to the stomach. That's why void magic is so great. Video game engines are amazing because they can make it so sunlight filters through leaves, casting dozens of little rays in your eyes, just like in real life. And then you turn around and there's a, just a whole ass horse just swimming in circles in midair. I mean, the leaves look good. The leaves look great. It's making my computer explode, but the leaves look great. I want to perform mitosis just so I have someone to talk to. Mood. My favorite genre of media is normal guy who goes to do normal guy things, but then gets surrounded by the weirdest fucking people imaginable and just goes with it. Welcome to my blog. The sign looks like it's walking towards me. I feel threatened. When you preheat the pan and then you put something cold on it and it just goes... Reblog if you agree. My hand. Red, no! I told my mom not to feed her dog too much cheese, and she got offended like, Ugh, I'm not an idiot. Of course I wouldn't. But, like, I can literally hear her in the living room singing, You like cheese. Cheese for babies. Dreams are just your brain making fan fiction about your life. Now it's more like my brain's making shit posts about my life. Because none of it makes sense. Baps you with my paw. 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 Here, god damn it! Yay. I'm in full support of artists not doing the thing that made them famous and instead drawing whatever niche things makes them happy. Yeah. Tornado hungry. Feed a 200 kilogram bag of glitter. Do it. I'm at that stage of hyperfixation where I can make almost every song I listen to about my blorbos and my scrunklies. Yeah. Reblog if you think it's important to learn about asexuality and sex education. There's no URL because God made this post. Yeah. Just past a group of teenage girls walking downtown, wearing cargo pants and platform crocs. Nature really is healing. Deletes personal post. Rule number one of Tumblr. Never show weakness. Unless it's for the bit. Unless it's for the bit. What if every time you do something random and surprising, like passing a test without studying or catching something thrown at you without looking, it's because your body and mind got a nat 20 on the save roll? What if? 
what, what, if we, what if we kissed on the dinosaur's kissing statue? Well, you'd probably get hit by a car, but such is the risk of love. Hey, he's my Blorbo, and I get to be annoying about him online. Hey, reblog if boobs are pretty cool. Oh, yeah, one of my favorite birds. No, 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 like tits. This? No, no, like hooters. Ah, you mean this? You know, the fun part about having timestamps enabled is that I can see immediately that the original post was published in like 2016 and the entirety of the bird conversation was four days ago. Another heavy handed symbolism moment. My mom has a potted sunflower in the kitchen. Because it is a sunflower, it keeps turning towards the light from the window. My mother keeps rotating it so it faces inward because she wants to see its beautiful petals and have it really brighten up the space. The sunflower is visibly wilting. Uh, are you gonna tell her or? Her master's degree is in biology. I extend my hand like a mob boss and allow you to kiss my ring. But when you lean closer, you see it's one of those glow-in-the-dark spider rings you win at arcades. Pretends to kiss it, but I eat the spider very discreetly, but you notice anyway because my mouth is glowing from the inside. You disrespect me and eat my spooky spider ring, which costs me 50 tickets at Funtime Arcade and Pizzeria. Vinny, Andy, whatever, hit it with a sticky hand. Instead of yelling boo this Halloween, let's yell something even scarier. Like, commitment! <gasps> or student loans! <gasps> Well, this ended up being much shorter than I thought it would. Andy! Yeah. Let's do the thing. Anyway, I'm terrified of speaking to people in real life because one of them could say I'm a chuckster and then just hurtle me 300 feet up into the air. Oh god, the Mario Sunshine flashbacks. Nothing like translating an entire brownie recipe at 5 a.m. and making you idiot-proof for your friend in a different time zone who has never baked a single thing in their entire life because shipping it over would take too long and would spoil the food. You're a good friend. Imagine dating an immortal and finding a photo album of their exes who all sort of look like you dating back a century. Wow. What if the exes were all previous incarnations of you and the immortals been dating all of them in the hopes of getting you to remember your first life when you originally met them? <gasps> I smell a novel. If I had a twin, I would go into crowds of strangers and profess my love to someone and then say, if our love isn't meant to be, I will go back in time and slap myself. And then my twin would burst in and slap me. I should do that with my twin. I need a twin. Stumbles out of Google Docs covered in blood. <laughs> Nobody go in there. Hey, I heard you like bad boys. And not to brag, but I'm literally bad at everything. Wink. Writing hard. But having written good. But at what cost? Writing. Fuck. I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I am gorgeous. <laughs> My three favorite things are the Oxford comma, irony, and missed opportunities. This is the most infuriatingly metagrammar comment I've ever seen, and I hate how much it inspires me. Kratos your face lovingly. Hey, I spilled super glue on my hands. The masculine urge to cuddle a sleepy man. It is strong. Hey, my mom's pregnant. Give the baby the worst name you can. You're asking me to name a baby? My answer is grungle, in case you care. I like it. <laughs> Our shared mutual just reblogged that post from me and not you. How does it make you feel? You shut your mouth! Life is too short not to make up stupid fucking words and using them with a straight face. Scrung tinglius. Not that I am or anything, but hypothetically. How would I come out as asexual slash maybe demisexual? Step one, tell somebody you are ace or demi. Step two. Congratulations, you did it. So I did a little research and it turns out some people are still emo nowadays. Hey, hey, fuck you. What's wrong, what happened? Oh, fuck off. Stop this, you're turning me emo. While I nodded and nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping. As of ash cheeks gently flapping, clapping, 
at my chamber door. "'Tis a visitor,' I muttered. "'Dummy thick, and nothing more.'" What the fuck is this? LGBT was coined by the Beatles as an acronym for their names. Lenham, George Harrison Ford, Ball is Life McCartney, and the drummer. I mean, it makes sense. If you got a problem with it, you want to start a revolution? Tell me your favorite weird fact. The earth is covered in corpses. We breathe the air the dead exude, eat the food they nourished with their decay, pour the remains onto our cars, wear them, and sleep on them. And then we call them scary without even noticing that they are present in every single thing in our lives. We live because of the dead. Bro, eco-goth. Apples to apples, dust to dust. Those two things aren't connected, but I feel like they should be now. Mr. Sandman, bring me a rat. Make it the softest that I ever pat, 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 pat. Vampires have been drinking human blood for centuries. They don't give a fuck about guys on eight different antidepressants. They were sucking on asbestos factory workers. The absolute hilarity, the absolute hilarity of imagining some older vampires hectoring younger ones. Back in my day, I had to drink blood with radium in it and I liked it. We glowed in the damn dark for weeks. Old vampires get lead, new vampires get microplastic. I'm losing it. Just heard the saying, the rumors are halfway around this town before the truth can get its boots on. And I think I'm going to be incorporating that into my personal lexicon. You might think to yourself, that's great, but when will you ever have a chance to use it? And to this I say, consider Tumblr? It's a cold and broken mama mia. Hallelujah, 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 here I go again. That was beautiful, man. Don't let my intelligence distract from the fact that I'm stupid. High intelligence and low wisdom, or high wisdom and low intelligence? High intelligence and high wisdom, but terrible Terrible luck on the rolls. High intelligence and wisdom, but with permanent disadvantage. Wait, that's just ADHD. Ding, 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 baby! I hate it. Insert the three seconds. Andy wants to do whatever he wants for the Tumblr intro. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Writing prompt. You just finished assembling a doomsday device, and you're not sure if a button is supposed to be labeled on or no. Oh boy. I have a very annoying neighbor. Can someone teach me trumpet? That's the best part. You don't need to learn to play trumpet to annoy him. Just try your best and have fun. Oh wow, you're so right, thank you. Now that neighbor's gonna wake up to the King K rule song every day. <laughs> I have a very big crush on you, but sadly, I'm only a little bug and you are a garden. That was adorable and heartbreaking. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Well, don't! I'm trying to study him and your tampering would completely throw off my results. Hey, 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 hey. What happens when you freeze water in an ice tray? It becomes... Ice cubed. Get it? I don't think any of you understand how important I am to the plot. You can kill me off, but everyone will stop watching. 30 day free trial of being okay? Uh, OP, where's the link? Where's the link, OP? Oh god, they're deactivated! My college does theme backgrounds depending on the week, and this is their anti-bullying weeks one. Oh my fucking god. Bad girl 675 strikes again! Bro, is that? <laughs> That's like the flip one I had in college from like 10 years ago, Jesus. Writing prompt! Compared to the rest of the galaxy, humans are small, adorable hunters who enjoy breaking things to see what happens, but they are still well-liked because they take care of minor problems. It turns out humans are not space elves or orcs, but intelligent space cats. Wait, that means... that means everyone's an anime cat boy. Oh my god, I love what you've done with your gender. Like, serious envy? Every time I eat homemade bread or sometimes potato, corn, or rice, I'm like, oh, yeah, our ancestors were right. These foods sure can food. I may not be punk rock, but I'm probably, like, punk pebble. Sorry I'm late to the book club. I was succumbing to the horrors.
I want to make an ad about hot glue and it's unrealistic capabilities. Oh, you have a mental disorder? Whoa, bam, fixed. Recently divorced with your wife and she took custody of the children? Slap some hot glue on there and boom, she loves you again. Turning you into a millionaire? No, 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 I can't do that. It's not magic. Absolutely no one. Straight men on dating apps. This implies Cinderella is a straight man. C Cinderella? Well, today I learned that hard disks are so sensitive to vibration that just screaming at them diminishes their performance. Yeah, well, getting screamed at diminishes my performance too. You ain't special. Reblog if getting screamed at diminishes your performance. Yo. If you were to receive compliments on your appearance, what kind would you prefer? Example, handsome, pretty, cute, etc. Uh, use your imagination. You look very, uh, flammable. Stop using your imagination. Just had a TV caption call it Greg mythology. Well, you know, God of Thunder, Greg, God of the Ocean, Greg, God of Death, Greg, G God of Time, Greg. You know, guy goes to a church for the first time and tells the priest he got converted by a Christian Tumblr blaze post. Those are four words I did not expect to ever get meshed together, and yet here we are. Hey, if your nose is currently unblocked and not runny, take a moment to appreciate it. Wow, look at you breathing in with both nostrils and not having to blow your nose every two minutes. You must be so proud of yourself. Proud of you too, bud. Have fun with your clear nose. You deserve it. You don't sound like you are proud. The Uber driver. I'm in a blue Honda Civic. Me. Okay. Okay. We know what blue is. For those of you who don't know what a Honda Civic looks like, uh, Andy, pull one up. Yep. Sure is car shaped. A reminder that bats are superior to swords for their inherent potential for inflicted pain. Nothing rivals a sword in homoeroticism. But for just raw pain, bone breaking, blocking, and parrying, Bats reign supreme. You know, it took me a full minute to realize you weren't advocating about using a flying rodent to inflict pain. For a safer and cleaner alternative to getting a piercing at Claire's, you can always try getting caught and tagged by a team of researchers before being released back into the wild. My mind is so blank nowadays. I need something in my mouth constantly to keep me occupied and stop me from doing something I regret. Wait a minute. They meant food! They uh, clearly hungry, clearly hungry. This is a say so video. Say so. Super say so. I think we, as a society, should just get rid of the entire concept of gender and sort people by Pokemon type instead. I want to be very dark. When you put your own posts to PM's Discord, I too want to be in the fighties. Yeah, you jest, but a great chunk of the content lately is people submitting their own posts on the Discord. So, well. Well, what if I submit this post to the Discord? I'm gonna do it and you can't stop me, so yeah. Imagine if people still took last names from their trade, like Fisher, Smith, and Fletcher. Imagine some guy introducing himself to you as Jonathan Podcaster. It's him, Ted Talker. Today I learned a villager in China used a grenade to crack open walnuts for 25 years without realizing. It took me a minute to realize he was probably smashing the walnuts with one, not blowing them up with his nigh endless supply of grenades. What if it is? You don't know. Does anyone else respond to an intrusive thought by telling their brain to shut up because they don't want any nearby telepaths to start judging them? Or am I just paranoid? No, 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 you're valid. You're that absolutely valid. No more child actors. Children don't deserve to be exposed to Hollywood. From now on, all children will be portrayed by adults walking on their knees. Sarah, it's 10 o'clock before bedtime, sweetie. Hugh Jackman in a blonde wig with pigtails. But, Mom! The difference between a sharply dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? Attire. Listen here, you little shit. That was awesome. I'm gonna use that. Just a little PSA for all bugs. I'm gonna sit in the grass for a little while and you are not allowed to climb on me. But... <laughs> I literally love to climb on things. Fuck you. Oh, great. Here comes bug Twitter. But, but this is Tumblr. The reason healthcare is free in the Pokemon world is because every time some corporation starts hoarding all the wealth, some 13-year-old comes in with a team of literal gods to stop them. Yeah, it's a lot harder to pass legislation to allow your company to surpass moral and ethical rules when some child with a 23-foot-tall god of weather under a command can just waltz right into your headquarters and have it create a fucking tornado in the CEO's office on command. 
maybe this is maybe Pokemon World's on to something here. I was downtown tonight and I passed by this group of kind of scary looking guys and all I heard was, hey, you fucking kidding me? Harry Potter wouldn't last 10 minutes in the Hunger Games. Yeah, my father disagrees. He thinks he won't last five. Men start out as baby boys and grow into baby girls at a tender age of 40. Shout out to all my baby girls. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Hannibal fandom thing, isn't it? <gasps> Michael boy? Really? I mean this in the most sincere, heart-filled-with-love way. This dog looks like a worm on a string. I, I can't donate my body to science. So what if it goes to, like, a medical school, and when the students crack open my torso, the professor says, Yeah, I'm sorry, these are the stupidest organs I've ever seen. Just throw, throw them back. Throw them back. All right, which one of the seven dwarves are you fucking? Don't. Endorse a fucking Disney property, you bootlegging. <laughs> well, apparently, he's fucking grumpy. Uh... Hey, guys. No. Oh. Okay. Duke here. Did ask. I'm hugging you. 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 I love you. You can make jokes about asexuality that aren't derogatory. Just saying. As a sex repulsed asexual, I hate it when people have sex. That's why this Pride Month I'm partnering with League of Legends. I invented milk. Okay. Me hunting with my vampire friends. Cracking open a boy with the cold ones. <laughs> Describe Tumblr in three words. Me. Tragedy. Platform. My kitty cat was wandering around going... So I was like, in here. And he goes, Brrr, shoves open my bedroom door with his big round head and flops on me. As in hard enough that he made a little oof <gasps> noise when he did it. Followed by a category five purring event. There's good in this world, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Etc. Writing prompt. Your wealthy relative has died and the funeral is coming up. The will stipulates that the funeral goer that delivers the best eulogy inherits everything. Your late relative left scoring criterion that no one knows except the lawyer that will also be judging at the funeral. This reminds me of that one post. You know you spend too much time on this website when you instantly recognize what post is being quoted. Oh, God. Do you ever open your book at, like, 9, and then you decide you'll read just for a few minutes, then all of a sudden it's 2 a.m., and your eyes are burning like you use hot sauce as eye drops, and then you think how you're only 100 pages or so from the end, so sleep is for the week? Yeah. Dude. dude. Okay. Let's get to this. I consider dude, dude. non-gender. Reading someone with a, a dude, dude, or just saying dude, dude, says nothing about either you or them. The only way dude, dude would be gendered would be if it was done intentionally and purposefully. If you have from the request of the person, or the person has done so to themselves, then all is well. If you do so without the request of the person, and even if the person asks you to stop, then you're just a dick. That's your gender now. A dick. Main thing is, pay attention. Constant vigilance. I dude. dude. If I were a video game character, I would be an NPC whose only purpose is to tell the player about the town and the local antagonist in great detail, and speedrunners would try their absolute best to skip talking to me due to me wasting like 15 minutes in a run. Motan Skip would be the most intricate and precise speedrunning tricks in the history of speedrunning, and it would only save like two minutes due to the amount of setup required. The Motan, God bless you, you're fucking evil. Poor bastard. Looks like the perp slapped his balls clean off. <sighs> How's that for a vibe check? Hi, it's Fitz with Slap My Nuts. You know what? Fuck you! Unkills your character. Tag made your character undeath. Christians during Easter. <laughs> God damn it. The only problem with Scythe as a weapon is that you can't design one without some joyless realist deciding it's their duty to remind you how impractical they would actually be in combat. It's always, that a Scythe would be useless in a real battle. <laughs> and never how was the Scythe. The Scythe looked fun. It was fun. The point of a Scythe is to look wicked cool and make you look wicked cool when you swing it around, okay? Your facts and logics have no power here. Suspend your disbelief, boy.
Anyway, I love you sights. I love you swords taller than my entire body. I love you giant guns mounted on tiny shoulders. I love you whips whose length changes depending on how far away your target is. I love you throwing knives. I love you dual wielding. I love you physically impossible combat scenarios and weapons whose only purpose is to look awesome to my eyes. This was ghost written by a reaper main in Final Fantasy XIV. Give two white guys a budget of hundreds of millions of dollars and watch them create the most mediocre thing you've ever witnessed. Kind of impressive in its own right when you think about it. I was in school and someone next to me opened a pack of gum and the entire school swarmed him like zombies and fought over the pieces of gum. Ah, so normal school then. I don't care if Tumblr fame is inherently a bad thing. I still want it. I want all the fame. No one can stop me from trying. Well, Leo Lil Cat, good news for you. The amount of time I stopped and wondered, what am I even doing? And proceed to pull the wrong lever. Yeah. You know what? I'm tired of people saying, here's my go-to lazy meal. And then they start chopping an onion. Hey, put your lazy meals in the tag. Okay, I'm so sorry, but it's risotto, and it does have chopped onions. In my defense, I keep a giant bag of free chopped onions in the freezer. Dude, your lazy meal is a risotto? What's your lazy dessert, a fucking souffle? Is your quick go-to, quick read, waiting for the bus, the fucking poetic Edda in its original Old Norse? Risotto? Are you a fucking alien? So, I got some Tumblr fame. When's the Greek tragedy of my hubris about to start? Do I, do I need more fame or something? There's been no consequences outside a lot of notifications. Oh, don't worry. You'll hear when the music kicks in. You'll know what I'm talking about. Hey, bro, why did your health bar disappear? Do you, do you need to talk about it or something? Hey, bro, 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 don't fry with me. I can hear your leap motif. Bro, why is the villain's leap motif mixing with yours as the music swells dramatically, bro? Bro! Bro! Bro? Hey, come here. I'm just a normal box with some G's under it. Hmm, this isn't suspicious. Yippee, I want some cheese! Why did it get dark? It's me, the alien. I'm gonna get you. I'm the alien. The alien from Alien 1979. She never said this. Stop spreading misinformation. She was thinking it though. Due to budget cuts, our treasurer is now a little mouse pulling his empty pockets inside out and looking forlornly with great big tears in his eyes. Why does the thought of that hurt so much? Stop it! How could you do this to me, Guilty Gear Bridget? Anyone else live under the assumption that they're constantly doing something wrong? Hey, how about the assumption that everyone's just being polite and any minute now they're gonna snap and let you know how awful you are? <laughs> God, why? Genders. Male, female, custom. Upload custom gender, max 10 megabytes. Just an amazing UI. Gender, entire source code of Quake 1996 ID software. He installs Doom as my gender. Ugh, maximum 10 megs, guys. Come on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, you done messed up now. Soundwave, hit him with the file size. I had a thought, but unfortunately I had a second thought. They ricocheted off each other and I can't find either anymore. Mood. Family appalled that their very quiet, well-behaved, mature child who never caused any problems has grown up and turned out to have many, many problems. More news at eight. <laughs> Sometimes when I drive and someone bugs me, I imagine I have Zeus-like powers and that their car is struck by lightning and they explode. I always imagine they shit themselves. Those powers sound cool too. I want that. I think Americans have spent long enough making fun of British accents. We need to start making fun of our own accents. Americans be like cranberries. Americans be paying $20 for a crate of water bottles. Americans offer two choices. They have no real preference. They're like, it doesn't matter. Americans will head over to lunch and be like, Hey, uh, can I get a ham and cheese sandwich? Fucking stop! DreamWorks live action Kirby film where everyone ends up in New York because that's the only place that exists IRL and they have to work with generic white New York couple who don't sound like they're from New York and hijinks ensues and Kirby sounds like a growing man while Mennonite sounds like an emo teenager.
<laughs> also need it is voiced by Chris Spock. <laughs> yeah! Okay! Why not? Give me that sweet Chris Pratt Kirby! Hey, if you want to know how convoluted the plot to Kingdom Hearts is, <clears throat> the heartless are the hearts of a person corrupted, and the nobody is the body! It's the darkness of the heart that makes the nothingness of the heart of light and darkness keyblades. For it can be said that nothingness is the heart of light and darkness. I love in the tags that you said you put nothingness, darkness, and light in random spots. And it still sounded legit for Kingdom Hearts! Oh, and Sora had like four people inside his heart at one time. I just, okay! All right. It's a tumbler. My school's library copy of Dracula has bite marks on it. What? Day one of eating every plant I see. Something bad is happening. Reverse Air Bud movie about a human basketball player who, on a technicality, enters and wins the Westminster Dog Show. Sounds like a Rob Schneider movie. Hey, babe, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? It did, huh? Emotionally. Right, right. I get that because of the, uh, yeah, the irreconcilable separation from goodness as a result of a single decision that can never be undone or atoned for. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So, so, sounds rough. Anyway, uh, what are you doing tonight? Why don't you agitate the contents of a barrel full of cream for a while and then reach your hand inside and maybe you'll feel better? Yeah, why don't you mix it with some eggs and sugar and flour and a little vanilla and dip your finger in and maybe you'll feel better? Both of these sound delightful. The masculine urge to become a bodybuilder giant and to cosplay as Hello Kitty just because. You know, I have been powerlifting. Oh my God, I might need to do this. Andy, write this down. Office supplies are bugs. Paper clips, rubber bands, staples, binder clips, and erasers. They're all like bugs to me. It'll make you stop to think that maybe white collar people are secretly ants. Autistic cowboy. Call that. Call that. It's... Call that. Yeehawtism. I swear, showing someone a movie you really like is the most embarrassing thing ever. How dare I enjoy this thing? I should be ashamed. Especially if it's a comedy and they don't laugh. Like, okay, I guess I'll just go fuck myself, fine. You know how Twilight Link can wrestle fucking Gorons and pick up goats without breaking his sweat? Yeah, I know where he gets it from. Malin. I do like that this picture implies that Link, as soon as he saw a cow was hoisted up into his treehouse in Kokiri Forest, he thought Malin lifted it up there, and then his second response was, I have to marry this woman. Yeah, I love the lead singer of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> gender way? Listen, My Chemical Romance is a gender. I fucking love Jaboas. Look at they! Observe them! So cute! My favorite thing about Toby Fox is that he practically handcrafts Tumblr sexy men in a lab, and the fans still go for the weirdest characters in the games. <sighs> yep. Literally made men a ton, who was a Tumblr sexy man, by every definition, and the fans went for Sans and Spamton. Just... great. You've heard of a ball bearing, now get ready for... A bear ballin'?! You know what really gets my goat? El Chupacapra? <laughs> Why is that one funny? You know, El Woods could be Daredevil. But Daredevil could never be L. Woods. In this essay, I will. The impulse to hide what I'm doing at my computer still sits so deep, even though I'm literally never looking at anything objectionable. The door will open, and I'll hurry to close the page like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I, no one can know that I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for the Balkans. No siree. Mm -mm. Imagine searching your whole life for the chosen one who'll destroy the Matrix and save the human race, and you find him, and he's fucking Keanu Reeves. You find him doing what? All right, we're doing this. Because it appears some people don't get the joke, I intentionally say words wrong just to see if I get a reaction out of people. But now I'm going to drive that into the skulls a little farther. 
for this entire video. I'm going to say a word wrong in every single post I read. And you're gonna have to listen. And the only way to stop it is to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, here we go. Shout out to those girls that get in trouble in class for using a tablelette on class. Um, actually, it's a Kindle, and I can only use it to read? Ugh, the old people. It's me. I'm those naughty girls. Head full. Many thoads. What if the reason we get so attached to fictional characters is because they were supposed to be our soulmates, but we were born in different universes? Why would you do this? <laughs> Wait, isn't Gender over today? Oh, August 29th. Gender's over. Bye bye now. I haven't read the Bible, but Jay Sus sounds kind of like a Gary Stew, not gonna lie. Maybe he is. Jay Sus. Writing prompt. Humans have been giving their pets god names for millennia, not knowing that they actually bestow upon them the god's powers. But it's divided amongst all the pets with the same name, so ultimately quite harmless. This morning, by a quirk of fate, yours is the only cat named Zeus. Phew, potential crisis prevented. My cat is already new chewed. Tumblr, please don't put ads for Tumblr shoelackies on my Tumblr blog, please! Due to personal reasons, I will become a bear and trick a village that I am a human and be crowned king until someone hits an accurate perception. <laughs> Italian mobster named Tony who magically transformed into a cute little anime girl and changes her name from Antonio to Antoniette. But still has people call her Tony and remains in the mob. I need this. You got it, boss. I wish I lived in that little glass box room that houses the Well Greens logo. Why can't I live up there? You know what's the best way to terrify your enemy? Let them know that what will happen after I finish eating a ray of garlic while staring at them with watery eyes. My mutuals are the most diverse group of psychologically tormented people you've ever seen. They're moking venom for being weak to fire. Like, um, buddy, I'm pretty sure you're weak to fire as well. Hmm? Uh, yeah, this is the pilot speaking. Yeah, we expect today's flight to be normal. Um, if you look out your window, you shouldn't see the skull. Just don't, just don't look out your window. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, God, you look at it. You pin watchers have been spared for the rest of the video. You are consuming media. I'm letting it consume media. Please help, it hurts. Does magic, but in a ditzy way, like a real himbo. <clears throat> Howl's Moving Castle 2004. The only manufactured celebrities we need is Bobby, Hatsune Miku, and the Muppets. And g g gorillas, you know. Guys, please. My little cousin confidently declared that Mother Nature had a counterpart named Daddy Electric, and I feel like this concept needs to be explored. Anytime your power comes back on after a blackout, I expect you all to say, Thank you, Daddy Electric. The weirdest instance of getting my wires crossed I've ever experienced. I had a piece of candy at my desk. My intention was to simultaneously eat the candy and start a brief work task. I put the candy in my mouth. I felt the surge of alarm as I was convinced for a fraction of a second that I had somehow eaten the task I was about to start. Yeah. The prevalence of the coyote as a trickster in American myth, the jackal as a trickster in African myth, and the fox as a trickster in Eurasian myth proves that the funny doggy is a staple across cultures. Yeah, that sounds like a bunch of bullcrap. Why, why, we, why do we gotta make the dog the bad one? This seems like it was made up by cat. <gasps> the cats are the tricksters. They've lied to you all. I was not prepared for Sheriff Snorlax. This town ain't big enough for the one of me. Jigglypuff is just Kirby's persona. In this essay, I will- Nope, nope, not gonna stop you right there. Nope, nope. Leo, Leo. You're very close to having the music coming. Watch it. Nothing worse than when the premise of something captivates you, but then it sucks ass. Bro, you just put this idea out into the world and you didn't even do it a shred of justice. I've always wanted to write a book dedication to all the authors whose ideas inspired me to write and whose execution inspired me to edit. <laughs> I board the Starship Enterprise. I go to a food replicator. I order soup, no bowl. And I leave.
Can't tell if the most shocking famous cousin reveals of all time was Ben Shapiro slash Mara Wilson or Joe Rogan slash Gerard Way. Hmm. Image prompt. Gary, I realize it's your first day, but we do have a dress code. I literally can't tell who is talking to who, and I don't want to change that for a second. People on Twitter are always like, uh, there's still people on Tumblr? As if Twitter wasn't full of stolen text posts, GIFs, and art originally posted there. They think that they're doing an archaeological dig, but really they're just walking into our houses picking up random stuff and saying, Wow, what a beautiful post. Shame that the people who made it died a long time ago. While we stare at them from our dinner tables. Twitter is the British Museum. Voice acting enemies of mobile games be like, You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some- Feeling so hamburger helpless. All energy healing is a scam. Except for when a kitty lays on your chest and purrs and purrs and sends restorative rays of magic into your bones and nerves. Fellas, that one's real, I swear. They're minor inconveniences to you. To me, they're world-ending tragedies. Mmm. Whenever I get intrusive thoughts, I think to myself, that's not canon, and most of the time they go away. If it's not canon, it can't hurt me. Why do you want to maim and kill? I literally don't. Banned from chat? Not even canon? The fuck is this? Ugh, knitting is impossible with two kittens. You know, that's why I use needles. Born too late to be a ground cowboy and too early to be a space cowboy. This is neither rootin' or tootin'. I'm opening Fifty Shades of Grey to a random page and posting what I find, part nine. YouTube, I swear this is not, this is not a bad one. I swear, this one's funny. Please, please, put down the button, put down the button. Okay, okay. Christian Grey puts his thumb in my mouth, and then the other one, and then two more. Wider. He said as he put in one more. I bet you've never had this many thumbs in your mouth. I hadn't. Yo, where is he getting all those thumbs? Behold, abomination. Where, where the heck is Leafeon? Inside. There is a Leafeon inside all of us. Okay, no, but seriously, this? I want this to be the ghost type. Give it to me. If you ever find symbolism in my writing, please tell me. I'd like to know about it too. Also, if you ever find a plot in my symbolism, please tell me so I can make use of it. I'm begging you. Squidward only ever makes artwork based off his visage. It's all very surface level and lacks any emotional depth. Squidward should start making artwork based on how Squidward feels and not how Squidward looks, you know? I feel like he's experimented plenty with self-portraits, but none of them really say much about Squidward as a person, you know? Yo, I got real drunk last night and got really emotional over Squidward's potential and how much he holds himself back. I'm sorry. Hmm. This aged well. You know what, Andy? I'm taking a while to set up. Give yourself four seconds for an intro. As a treat. You earned it. You gave me four seconds. My life and I want them back. Oh, I'd only waste them anyway. Earth is the only planet in the known universe that contains all 23 flavors in a Dr. Pepper. I is this a blessing or a curse? What media should children be watching? They should have 10 VHS tapes they watch over and over and over again. I mean, technically they do that, but it's just 10 YouTube videos. Don't lie, I know it. Does anyone know actually what happened in Breaking Bad? Well, Walter White said, it's Walton time, and then he vaulted all over the place. I mean, with how many times people have meaned his actual iconic line in the show, yes, this is literally what happened. I am the one who asked. To be honest, fair to drinking Mountain Dew. What if you were dishonest? There is no such thing as a beverage. I want to invent new words by a random sound I make. I don't know why, but I want to. Bleepus. They're adding the stinky meal to McDonald's. Nice to know McDonald's made a meal for you. Ah! <coughs> Pokemon game, but the whole Pokedex is literally just these guys. Shape icons. When I read Blarbo, I'm picturing any one of these at random, by the way. Well, why, aren't, why aren't these just the types now? Obviously, round Blarbo beats up uh, flying Blarbo pretty well. I don't know. Don't question it. I love cheating. If you don't cheat, what the hell's wrong with you? Have you ever been cheated on? <clears throat> I forgot some people are in relationships. To clarify, I love to violate academic integrity on exams. Ah. Uh... All right, I know I read the first part, but apparently there's more. I do not want my fantasy media to be realistic. I want my fantasy media to be convincing. That's an excellent distinction. 
Why are we italicizing? To convince? To convince who? The Italians? Duh. Oh my god, Sokka really just accepts Zuko as a friend right away? He immediately just starts roasting him with jerk bending and his little dragon dance. Bless! Sokka was 100% on board for the friendship. Not because Zuko redeemed himself, but because Zuko was easy roast material. Sokka, 0 0.0934 seconds after Zuko shows up. I can finally use all these jokes I've been saving up this entire time you've been chasing us! I know Tumblr fame is like bad, but I want to become popular enough to have one of my posts end up in a PMC more video. Opportunity strikes, Corvus! What's the dumbest thing you could think of right now? Okay, so you know bald people? Do you think they fantasize about stealing other people's hair? Like, do they plan it out to hair heist? You know, very, very good. Good job, Corvus. You're in the video. They fucked up Google images, and now when you Google anime girl, you don't see pictures like this anymore. Like, what's the fucking point anymore? The first girl, top left. She was literally all over Facebook and MySpace. Hey, uh, but for real, the concept of fallen angels existing but risen demons being an impossibility is kind of a great summary of sin in Christianity? Holy shit. This is a dumb lukewarm take, but Tumblr's gonna treat it like it's gold. No, 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 come back here and tell me how stupid it is to talk about how the power dynamics inherent to Christianity are built upon the rhetoric that failure is unavoidable and there's never enough you can do to make up for it. No, no. By all means, by all means, tell me. And here we see a Bethesda employee seated at a standard bug collision desk enjoying another productive day of porting Skyrim around. He's putting it on the N-gauge today. Thinking. He is balanced. Namaste, Burb. Namaste. You heathens were a blog day specific post any day of the week. I woke up thinking it was Wednesday. Happy wake up thinking it was Wednesday, Sunday. It's fucking Friday. Happy wake up thinking it was Wednesday, Sunday, Friday. In the US, we only have three genders. American Beauty, American Psycho, and American Pie. What about American Idiot? Well... We all know which gender I am for forgetting this one. Da 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 da. Grandma. Hmm. No, no man, not yet. It's only 3 p.m. Only? Where did you get that ice pop? I used that chocolate water and this bowl the cowboys kept spitting into and froze it. <laughs> and now. Anytime a non-Texan voice actor or iconic person goes to Texas. <clears throat> yes, I have ate at Whataburger, and I liked it. Man, how much did you spend here? $156,789. Dude, how are you gonna pay rent? I'm not. I decided to live in my 2003 Honda Civic. Five minutes later. I must know how much that is. My money, my soul, anything for Doki Doki Melajan. Yeah, I don't know. This is the last one. I think maybe I'd sell it for a 2003 Honda Civic. So you're homeless. I prefer to call it eloping with my wife. Mm. Hey, enjoy your Slurpee. Awesome, man. You want to enjoy my black metal band? Do I have to do anything? We just need you to scream, wear black, and be generally angry on stage. Sign me the fuck up. Alright, time to summon a succubus like how the internet people who don't take their medication showed me to. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Deaf you and not even a Tulpa girlfriend from Slash X.